ぐbe the weather probably. Unfortunately old enough that weather affects bones, I guess. Ugh. Boy. So tiny bit of news, I trimmed my beard today, so huzzah. I don't know if that'll affect how I sound at all. But uh hey. I did that today. <laughs> So I need to get a haircut at some point. It's going to be god fucking awful cold next week. I'm going to try and see if I can maybe get it cut tomorrow. If not, then I may just need to buzz it down because I got an emo skater boy hair going on right now. I'm not a fan. I'm sure I look cute, but I'm not a fan. Too high maintenance. Anyway, it's more Agnes Theory. There has been a couple updates since I last played it, which was two weeks ago. One actually changed some stuff that was conveniently while I was playing, so thank you Save X for paying attention to my VOD for one. And uh, there's also something else that's recently added, I think. Let me look up the patch notes super quick. Like brand new content. Be more seasonal props, move some around. Strange monoliths that appeared throughout the climb, carved with old blueprints and maps. Point to something deeper. So there's strange monoliths that appear now. I don't know what the hell those look like or what those will do, but I guess I'm gonna find out. Oh yeah, I'm currently about, uh, I guess halfway up the main climb of the game so far. So, uh, let's see if I can climb on the other half. No, I'm sorry, I'm 46% through it. My mistake. My mistake. How dare I. Alrighty. I need to get up that goddamn cathedral. First, let's get some blocks. Get those balled up. And of course, grab Toby. Never give up. Thank you, Toby. Let's grab these long boys, because I believe I am going to need them, as I recall. Now, I don't know where these strange models that are mentioned are supposed to show up. I don't even know what they're gonna look like, but I assume they'll be big and ominous. What do you suppose lies at the edge of the world? Nothing. Yeah, come here. I really don't know what shape I'm gonna need, but I may as well grab what I can right now. There's some tall ones in here. Nope, just pumpkins. Wow! Woo indeed. How are you today, Vermillion? Blink. Yeah, come on. Give me that one. Fuck him. Come here. Motherfucker. There we go. That's the prettiest looking uh roly poly katamari, but I'll take it. Alright, could be better, but could be a lot worse. Yeah, it's not a bad attitude. Da, da, da. Yeah. You climb up the goddamn coffin! 
That was a complete accident, but I'll take that. Oh yeah, I guess I could take my portal checkpoint, but... Damn it. Ah oh, well. Let's see, so climb here, and here. I just realized, does it measure my progress in the climb by like, how many... What my current height is? Probably. Because I was at 46% in the climb, on the load menu. And I'm at 467 height at the moment. Thank god I can do math. <laughs> Shit, how do I climb over you? Am I being reckless? Uh, the answer is no. Alright, dummy, how are you doing this? I have to reshape a little bit. Let's see, grab that. Okay, I'm on. There we go. Think. Where'd I get that stick from? It's mine now. Will the stick help? It might. Whee! I don't think it's helping much there. Alright, I guess it's my good luck stick. This actually helped me out. Now for the cathedral. Or, you know, if I get stuck in a step first, that's awesome. Come on. We got out of there. There we go. So let me think. I'm gonna need to go around on the right side, climb up that way. I shouldn't need anything down there at all. So I'm basically just climbing up. How do I get over there? I guess I must get a platform at some point. Probably. So there's a chance that this stick should I don't mean to help me on this climb, but uh, you know what? Fuck it, we ball. The fuck? Get, get off me. I don't want any rocks. I'll take the candle. Candles were nice. Never mind, the candle's in the way. Du, 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 du. And I'm on fire. Yeah, I think I am gonna need to reshape myself here. Or maybe not. Come on, stick. Be a good stick. That's a good stick. Alright, stick, you proved yourself. I'll keep you for now. And then you immediately fuck me over. Come on, stick. Thought we had a good thing going. There we go. Now this side here... will be tricky, I think. Not impossible. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Work with me. Work with me, damn it! Come on. I can get you up on top. Come on. Hey, Mr. Stick, I know you're not used to topping, but you're going to have to work with me here. Come on. You dummy. Oh, thank you, Mr. Candle. Never mind. Fuck you, Mr. Candle. I've been betrayed. Let's do some shaping. Currently, uh, this position, this shape is not terrible. 
but I need to get a tiny bit more thin to do some climbing. Get. So let's see how thin I can go. Well, maybe not thin per se, but long. Uh, pop you off. I need to get the stick more on the tip that might be useful. Not quite ahead in mind. But it could help her clenching on to something. Whee. Imagine this game actually made it so stuff would bend at certain points. There was too much weight on it. Like crumpled physics or something like that. Soft body physics, that's what I'm thinking of. Actually, I'm kind of thankful that isn't the case because otherwise that'd be hell on my PC. Come on. Mm, I don't think that's working too well. I think it just might be too bulky in the center, but well, I'm up here now. And now I'm down here. Hey, creepy dude, what's up? Yeah, it says Halo Chance to you too. How about I go over here and try to get rid of that bulge in the middle? Yeah, come here, Toby. Let's get ourselves a bit of a form going. There we go. Is that too bulgy? Nah. I don't think that'll be fine. Mm, that might be too bulgy though. Let's kind of shut it out. Let's see. I want to get a more uh, spidery kind of look. Maybe that might help in the climb. Like so. Maybe multiple points of contact. Blink. That's just a little bit too curved, so that means I might slide off of certain areas. Now yeah, try it out. Oh shit! Sorry for yawning. I think I got much sleep last night. Can you climb up here? Yeah, come on. Come on. I might have to get a little bit taller here. Keyword is might. It's a real good thing that fire doesn't kill me. Hurts like hell, but doesn't kill me.
Alright, let's try to get over here now. Let's see, I need to get from there to up there and across. How to do that though? I guess, uh. Try leading it around? Nah. I'm kinda getting stuck there. I can go back in there and try to reshape a little bit. No, 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 no. Okay, start reshaping. Alright, let me think. Uh, pop you off somewhere where you won't fall down, hopefully. Like so. That might be better, not sure. Yeah, come on. Come on, camera. Not quite working as I thought. I think it might be that stick that's actually poking me over. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hmm. Let's try the another way. First off, drop you off somewhere we won't fall. Let's see. I think this one on the side's also fucking me over, so. Try to get him on the other side where there's not much bulk. Yeah. Alright, Toby, maybe be sweetie. I need you to grab her through chin. Just as well. Then I need to get you on the tip of something. Preferably that one shot out on my left there. Come on! That might work. Let's make it a very hard to actually maneuver, so maybe not. Uh, that fucking weeball. I'm gonna pop it off for now, because I know it's gonna hold me back here. Stick is coming in clutch. Now, this is the part that gives me a lot of trouble. Where did that candle might help? Yeah, come back. Come back. Where a candle? Let's try to get you another. Uh, that might help climbing onto something. So let's see, I'm gonna need to... Go up, climb onto there, then there, then around. The tricky part is, of course, doing it. Easy now. Yeah, da, 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 da. Really wanted me to fall off, I can tell. Come on. No, 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 no. Come on. Kind of stuck there. Oh, shit. Alright, this big. Also, uh, thank you, game developer, for adding that extra block. <laughs> yeah, come on. 
So I gotta get over there, though. Going somewhere, going somewhere. Easy, easy. I actually might want to pop you off. Come on. Why did I hear the candle sizzle out when I hit the... Is because I went to the water? Why did I hear that from up here? That's funny. <laughs> Shoot, get unstuck. Fucking move it. You fat bitch. Come on. Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. I may not be able to come back from this. Wait a minute, hold on. Short. That didn't help at all. That did the opposite help. Whee. Oh, it did put out the candle. Holy shit, that sent me flying. I'm back at the creepy place. Let's do that portable flag. See what we can work with there. I was getting somewhere. Unfortunately, Torque fucked me over. That was on me. Blink. Shall we get climbing? I don't think I'll ever get used to this. Me neither, Toby. See, I guess. Oop. Come on. There we go. Do I want to bulk up in the middle? I'm not sure. Maybe. That'll probably help me out, actually, so let's see if I can bulk up there. I'm on fire. Fire does not count towards bulking up. The rock there might actually work as a counterweight. If we can get this in the middle of me, that might help out. Or you know, you can just do that instead. This one's way too bulky, so I feel like it's not a good idea to have you with me. I'm on fire! Yeah, come on! I wonder why torches set me on fire with candles still. I guess candles are too small with their flame. Probably. Oh jeez. I don't know how I managed that, but I did. Weird ass shape, but this weird ass shape is working. Ooh. This weird ass shape just saved me. Alright, funky chromosome, let's see if we can get ourselves up there. So far, no. Yeah, come on. 
Yeah, she might be too much weight from the candle. Okay. I think the problem is just not straight enough there for me. And then that happens. Right, let me think. Sorry, Toby. Uh... The fuck? Rude? Running over blocks here? Think. Grab you. Grab you. Right, Toby, hear me out. I'm gonna use you to try gripping on something. Wait, if I can catch on fire, does Toby catch on fire? He does not. Huh. So, I'm made of a flammable material, but nothing else is, it seems. Ow, oh, fuck off. Up and at him. Definitely wasn't doing bad with the blocks to get from the main checkpoint. So, if I don't do it this time. I'll probably just start back there and grab whatever I can. Make the climb as usual. Or, you know, get stuck in a corner, that works too. Come on! How did I do this to myself? Well, it's probably because you got a dumbass shape going on, so... Let's get rid of some of that. Get me out of here! Alright, I need to get taller in order to reach those ledges. Don't think that should be inside of me, but uh no, I'll take it. I'll try to get a bit more flat if possible. Uh, this might help me reach up top. Let's see. Come on! There we go. Need to hydrate TV antenna. Hope you're doing well today. I am you. I'm doing alright. A little bit tired. Didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night, but it's what it is. Unfortunately, that's what caffeine is for. Yeah, man. Let's see if we can try to climb up this cathedral here, and, uh. So far. It's not cooperating. I'm also on fire. Okay. Come on. Da, da, da. All right, now let's see if we can get over there and hopefully can reach up that one corner. Now we'll have to lose some blocks when we get around it, though. That's the question. Uh, maybe not. 
think it'll be fine-ish. The weight of the side on my left there is kinda throwing me off, so uh, give me the rock. Claim that Toby is a fat head here, but uh, put him on the end may have not been helping. There we go. Uh oh, come on. There we go. And I might just gone stuck. Sick. Get around this corner here. Made to drop a couple of things, and unfortunately I think Toby's next to be dropped. Up here? Around this little spire here. I think that rock's holding me back. Yeah! What the? Come on! Alright, well. It's a coin flip whether it's Toby or the rock, so. Let's see what happens. See you, Toby. Climb around here. And so, climb up there, get around. I think with my current shape, I should be able to reach all those planks just fine. And I'm also pretty flat at the moment. How do I always do this? I impress myself with my dumbassery. I really do. <laughs> now I can stay on the ledge, so maybe I can work with this. Psych. Let's go back to the radio checkpoint. So getting flat does tend to help a little bit. The flatter I am, the harder it is to control as well. The grass off of me. Let's get moving. Da, da, da. You know, there is something that's further below me that I think that could help. Where are you? The magic block, that one. It would take a bit of working around and get that up here. But I think it might be useful. Nothing else to use to maybe skip a chunk up the cathedral. Let me go and build up my mass here first. Whee. What do you suppose lies at the edge of the world? Is it a sphere that you can travel around? Probably not. No, I bet the pumpkins can help me uh, climb back up when I go down there. Here, pumpkin. Hell, bring two pumpkins. We're fine. Yeah. Let's 
So I'm gonna go down there and grab you and come back up with you in tow. Now if I dislodge you though, I have to wait for you to cool down and come off. So I gotta keep that in mind if I need to reshape. And I will need to reshape once I'm back up there. From here, I can actually drop down just fine. Guess I can teleport here. Whee. If I don't need to use the magic black, the magic block at all, that would be very ideal. Although I don't think I'm long enough to actually. Make use of it. Ooh, wait, wait, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm bullshit. I may be trolling myself. Here we can get a tiny bit longer with this guy here. Come on. You know, while I'm actually up here, let's see. I see any of those monoliths that were mentioned in the patch notes. None that I can notice. When I hear monolith, I imagine something tall, rectangular. It might be worth going back down and maybe see one. But whether they show up along that normal path or not, I am not sure. Hmm. It is worth investigating, though. Come on. That did not work. Maybe I can torque myself up to that plank. Maybe. I can grab this candle. I grab the candles by the gates. I cannot. They do not exist. They are fake. Oh, oh, oh. Damn it. We're almost there. Another torque might be the trick. Stop coming and they don't 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 stop coming Hey Jet, how are you today? Like torque up here, maybe I can do it. You know what? Big brain idea. If I torque up off of this one, can I climb over to that one? Yeah! Nope. Yeah, I should've got that longer, so uh, bigger. Ah, well. I can reshape here, just gotta wait for that magic block. Yeah, fuck it. Try to get the magic block. The pumpkin for good luck. Blink. I can well wait for the magic block to turn off and then pick up that first if you can. That way I can reshape later without dropping that. I 
Is it just me or science our world's version of magic and we're just really boring people so we can't admit it? Anyways, what's up? Well, in certain, uh, media and literature, magic and science aren't one of the same. It's just like magic was something scientific that we didn't know what to call yet. For example, combining two chemicals to make an explosion? Back in the day, that would definitely be magic. Now? That's just, you know, playing with beakers in a science lab. Anyway, playing on against theory today. Try my best to make some progress here. Which involves a tiny bit of backtracking on my part. Whether it will help or not, I'm not sure. How are you today? Boy, come on. Not really that straightened out, but I may not have to worry about being straight. Guess I can just do that. And then do that to myself. Shit. I don't think that will help out too much, but... At least climb like this. And yes. Come on. There we go. Why did my desktop reset? That's weird. <laughs> now for the climb back up. Or, you know, get stuck in the coffin. That's cool, too. Oh, fuck it. No. It's really sad when you torque up and you just climb something by the edge. And then that happens. Come on. We're good. Hell yeah. Alright, now the tricky part is trying to make use of all my resources here to help me climb that bastard of a cathedral. In my current shape, I'm not sure if I can. I can attempt to. Now fuck off. It is helping me reach higher up areas. That is the important part. But ultimately, I want to try and make use of that magic block if I can. And I think my bulk may not be assisting me here. Was using magic block and I use it at the moment, I guess. So, what can we ball? Alright, let me think. So, I'm gonna need the magic block somewhere on tip. I'm gonna need it somewhere good enough that I can place it and reach it while being long enough to reach it. Best point to place it would be that little corner I keep struggling with. Hmm. I don't know, it was climbing kind of fine like this. I think it's just a matter of being a bit more straightened out here. Because uh, I'm looking kind of goofy. Hi, big head. Hi. What do you want, buddy? What? You'll be annoying. Who 
What do you want, buddy? Just want my attention? Let me have my attention. Wang. That stomach be tall enough to reach some of the parts. It might be too tall. Can I just climb the tree and reach up here? Maybe not the tree, but maybe this part here? That'd be goofy as hell. What? Goodness. I hear you, beast. What do you desire? You have food. You have water. You have litter that I need to do later on anyway. Do you want to cuddle? I will sit in a position that allows you to cuddle. Hey! Hey, Winston. How are you today? Come on. Guess you don't want to cuddle? No, I'm just gonna sit there and meow at me. I don't know what you want. I don't think even you know what you want. Just gonna sit there and meow up at me. Well, fine. What if I just ignore you? See what happens. Hey, Baron, doing good? How you doing today? Good to gay. Today. I'm doing all right. Aside from mush mouth and being kind of tired. Doing the cat scream at me for some reason. I'm trying to climb up here in Darkness Theory. I might have a plan to do this. Despite what the cat might say. Yes, kitty. Big cat's currently yelling at me next to me. I don't know why. If I ignore him long enough, he'll hop up with my up. I know. How dare I ignore you? I'm such an awful human to you. Oh, skeleton. There he is. Hi, shithead. Hi. You just want to hop in my lap and get some attention? Yeah. You just want to be Twitch famous? Yeah. Well, you're already Twitch famous. People come here for you, not me. That's true. Yeah, there he goes. That's the briefest 10 second cuddle he's ever had. Well, now he's still yelling at me. If I ignore him long enough, he might go away. Unfortunately, he's gonna react to me every time I speak. And unfortunately, I'm also too damn tall for that. Shit! Where the poison orb? Don't, don't, don't worry about you. Alright, get some shaping going on. What? Should I make you a cave? One second. I can make him a cave. Oh, you bitch. Take it. In there. Get your ass in there. Of course, you're not taking the damn cave. No, call him back into my lap. Why? What do you want? What do you want? Do you know what you want, you silly cat? No, you don't. This is a cat. Oh, pickle. Oh, sorry, Dippity Elbow, you. The microphone, not the cat. The cat's fine. I'm not used to my microphone being in this position. A new arm. Into the cave. You take that damn cave, you're gonna like it. 
I'll do nothing further with it. Oh yeah. I love my cat. So, anyway. Uh, there should be a elevator there. Which I can't reach it. Right there. I can reach it. I just need to mess with my stuff a little bit. There's an elevator there, right? Shouldn't it be at the bottom? Ah, fuck, it's down there. I should be able to climb up this way at least. Hello, Grand SD20. Also, the pool of wine. You know, I recall seeing something about dice blocks having their weight adjusted in a patch note for this. I don't know exactly what that meant. Like, I guess the D20 and other dice blocks were way too damn heavy. And I guess uh, when I was messing around with it last time, it was a bit on the heavy side. Yeah. Am I tall enough to reach shit? Kinda. Maybe. I'm also bulky enough I push myself off. Which is not good. And if I reshape myself, I think I can make it work. And overall, I'm gonna need to reshape myself to make use of that magic block anyway, so. Despite the funky ass shape, though. I am getting some good maneuverability. Time to make some changes. Yeah. Come on. Uh oh. Toby, oh. can't pin down there. Toby. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna try to get you between me and the dice block for the probably best position. Ow! Fire. Let's rethink our strategy. You're not oh, there's no our strategy in this, Toby. You're just sitting there looking cute. I'm doing all the thinking. Let's be real here. Alright, so. I think this may work. Don't need the pumpkin. Save the magic block for last if possible. Or you know you can do that instead. That's very poggers. I think the dice block is- Shit, I dropped one of the long ones. Ah, well. I think the dice block- Hey, I got an eight! Holy shit, I can roll a dice block! That makes sense. It, it, it's a dice block. Alright, roll for initiative. Fifteen. Fuck yeah. With my dex modifier, that's also sixteen. Which means I get the first step. So. Roll to attack. Eight. Factoring in my strength, that's a ten, so I'll take it. I barely hit the goblin. Roll for damage. I don't know why I'm rolling a d20 for damage, but I did 17. <laughs> so wait, is it just merely generated every time it lands, or is there actual sides to it? So that's eight. That's a nap. Oh god! <laughs> oh 
<laughs> I fucking nat one myself in a goddamn video game, some bitch. I can't escape it. I can't escape it. That actually fucked me over, son of a fucking bitch. <laughs> can't we be mad? That's hilarious. <gasps> I could be a little mad. <laughs> I think I can get back up there, though. I genuinely was expecting the gnat one to explode on me. You know, if I had a nickel for every time a gnat one fucked me up on stream, I'd have two nickels. It's not a whole lot, but it's funny this happened twice now. I can't really grab anything this way. No, I'm definitely not climbing out this way through these two now I think about it. Shit, that might be restart. <laughs> I don't think I can climb back up there. Where we creating. Oh my god, were you hard on it the whole time when I was gone? Holy shit. You were incredibly patient. You were just waiting for me to come back around, just like, I'll finish my conversation. I will finish it. I'll teach you to be rude. You will be back here. I know you will, because you suck at this game. Oh, look who it is. Or does it simply end? <laughs> Speaking of ending, uh... Let's go ahead and hit up that portable flag. Fucking nap ones, man. You can never escape them. Let me get up in here really quick. Possible? Never mind, I am too small to get in there. So nothing else these spiky bits in there might help out a little bit. Yes, yeah, it's ominous chanting. Oh god, what am I gonna do? I'm going insane! Well, I found a d20, so I wonder what other dice blocks there are. I mean, you you figure it could go up to 20, at least. There could be a d100. There could be. So let's see, there's gotta be a d4, a d6, obviously. I mean, you gotta have a d6, that's the most Spock standard fucking dice. D8. D10, D12. Yeah, I guess you could start just play D&D and Ochnus Theory. D and Ochnus Theory. Get out of here. Ready to get moving? Whoa. My plan to use the match block kind of fell through, but... Do you think I can still manage? One second. Hello. I'm back. Can't fish need to get one of those uh thingies that make my microphone 
kind of freestanding without worrying about shock shock absorbers that's what it is shock map yeah i'm gonna eventually need one of those but i think i'll wait until i eventually move to do that Da, 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 da. The fuck? Oh. Get that grass in your mouth, Toby. You know where that thing's been. Right. Grab that long boy there. Now these big spiky triangle ones might kind of fuck me over trying to climb up, I'm not sure. We shall see. Let's go grab this one as well. If I can get a bit more flat though, it'll be a lot easier for me. So let me try to do that by not throwing you off the edge like a dummy. Not quite flat. Not either is this, but it might still workish. Yeah, but give me that. There we go. Da -da -da -da. Get that rock off of me. No tangentially related to rock. I wonder where I'm going to be streaming tomorrow night with a uh, good jungus. Neither of really come up with any ideas. We just kind of been doing it at the last possible second of the day. So unfortunately, Jungus was not able to stream in and hominid invasion on his end. God fucking knows why. So I know he's going to want to try streaming again or what. I guess we could do Deep Rock Galactic though, which was going with a stone thing. Be stuck. Sick. And my control is not the best here, but whoops. Should be tall enough to reach around. Kickity. Oh, I can just do that instead. <laughs> Is it that one on the end that's fucking me over? Kinda. So what if I were to have you here? Would that make it easier to control? Not really. Well, what if I was to stick with more of the spikes? Come on. I have the price of being a goth. Spikes and studs get caught on everywhere. Still not the best control, but it should be long enough now. Get that rock out here. Let's not put baby in the corner. Get 
Come on. Get up there. Then up there. Or, you know, do that instead. I should grab you. Maybe I can use you to flinch up there. Now get rid of you when I need to. Now the problem is that bulk in the middle there with those spikes is not helping. But I can still manage to do that. So how you listen? So I've been trying to get in the habit of eating a big meal before streams more and more now. So if I do that, I typically don't have to worry about taking like a break for dinner or something like that. So I can still just focus on streaming the game or whatever I want to do. Not that I mind watching YouTube and eating on stream. But the opposite, it's actually kind of fun to share videos I want to watch with others. But still. I do stream to play video games mainly. So I think the more I do that, the better. I suppose it helps I've been keeping my streams lately kind of shorter. Shorter for me anyway, like six hours-ish. Think it's like you have a good idea what you want to do? I don't know what's the I never know what I want to do. You think I know what's going up in here? Hell no. But if I pretend I do, then that will help me be a bit more organized in my own life. Just a bit. I am on fire. It's actually kind of why I like to... When I make a schedule for the week, as far as what I'm going to play, I try to stick by that schedule no matter what. Without like really changing the game unless something comes up. I don't know if it's like an ADHD thing or some bullshit, but if I end up not doing that, I feel like really... Depressed, I guess? Yeah. Then I didn't stick to it. I don't know. Mental stuff is weird. I'm on fire again. This is not helping too much. Alright, what can I do? If I get rid of these spiky boys, that will help me climb it up, because I feel like that's what's shutting me off. Well, that little tumor on me there isn't really helping either. Not nah, Toby. Toby, you're not the tumor, Toby. The spiky on top of my head. I can get rid of that. I can definitely keep some of the spikes. Because the spikes can help. They have multiple points of contact. So they're not going to be terrible for climbing. It's just a matter of doing so. Let's try to be as straight as possible. Which could be a hard task for me because I am gay as hell. At least 40% gay, give or take. Oop. Come on. Then again, I did mention uh, catching a load in my mouth and swallowing it to kill the enemy team last night, so, uh. <laughs> hey, Quasar, how are you? Yeah, to uh, catch you up, Winston, last night I was in VC with some friends, and somehow we got on the topic of, like, the Halo announcer seeing uh, kill streaks or whatever during sex. <laughs> and we 
got the parry penetration thing made either. <laughs> now, Quasar, I did wait for you to leave until I said my next weird thing, which is where that swan alone to kill the enemy team thing came in from. <laughs> I did wait. Woo Woo indeed, Cole. Oh yeah, you swallow a load and you just hear Enemy Team Defeated. You just primed a sub to you again? Did you? You might take a while for it to kick in, but if you did, then thank you, Chungus. Oh, you know what? You're on mobile, aren't you? I wonder if maybe it doesn't do the notification if you're on mobile. I'm not sure. I don't understand Twitch. I just work here, man. Yeah, I don't even work here. Thank you for sparing me from sitting up even later. Of course, Quasar. <laughs> like, I had that one brewed in my mind, but I wanted to wait. Out of politeness. You're not on mobile? Ha! Huh. Hell, if I know then. Well, regardless, thank you for the prime sub. It'll kick in when it kicks in. And how are you today, Junkus? Oh yeah, Junkus, since you're here, when should we stream tomorrow? Any ideas? Because if you want to try and harm it again, I don't mind, but if you want to do something else, then that is perfectly fine. Never like to show the Prime sub. Yeah, I guess maybe Twitch doesn't like free. Two words. The hell's going with the audio? Audio one. Audio two. Lethal Company? Hell yeah, brother. We shall play Little Company tomorrow. Depending on who is free, I could recruit some people to help us out as well. I mean, shall we go and try and it? Well, that's up to you and good. Right. Right, I'm just fucking around here, so. Let me try to get a good shape going. Unfortunately, that long boy in the end is going to make it a little difficult to move. So maybe we should start with the uh, spikes on the middle. Come on. Oop. Oop. Come on. There we go. That'd be free round 10.30ish you have to work tomorrow? Of course. Let me try to get more lengthy here. It's funny how talking about taking a load of your mouth really sidetracks you, huh? Anyway. Grab you over here. Try to save that long boy for the tip. I may want to try grabbing that, uh, L block there. But where? Because I don't need to be too, too long. Can't stop thinking about anything else? Yeah, it comes always on my mind. I'm gonna say. I sure as hell ain't got a brain up there. Save the long ball for the tip. Yeah, that is the idea. That might work. Unfortunately, it does make it look hard to control, but if I get Toby in the middle, that might help out. Yeah. Toby, come here.
Alright, so attempt climbing this. Da -da -da. Get stuck there already. Hell yeah. Hmm. Unfortunately, the long boy on the tip actually might make it a bit more difficult to grab onto shit. Use that L block to maybe climb and grip, like so. There we go. Let's try not to fall down, that would be very awkward. For to not disturb Nose Peter, what the fuck his name is down there in his Gregorian chanting. Ooh! It's fine, it's fine, this is fine. This is kind of fine. This is not fine. This is not fine. <sighs> Shit. I think I may have just been too long for that, honestly. So either get rid of the L block or get rid of the long boy. Or Toby. I say keep the L block, because the L block will help me grip. And of course, keep Toby. <laughs> Wanna lurk a bit as I chill and write some stuff? Very good, Jungus. Thank you for the lurk. Uh, it's a bit easier to control, but uh, will it be tall enough? Probably not. So I might need one more fucker on me. Maybe a spiky boy. That's yeah, a little bit too tough to control now. Well, then again, two L's might be good. After all, two L's make a dub. It's a little kind of goofy to control. I am on fire. But I think I'll be fine. Yeah, come on. Come on. Unfortunately, that L is not assisting me down there. Bottom L, quit being a bottom. Thank you, bottom L. And over here. And right, now we're getting somewhere. Yeah, having the two L's is helping out, because both of them can't grip. Long and thin as the long boy can be, he's not very good at gripping edges. Now, will it be too long to get around here? I'm not sure. May have to pop off one of the L's. So, habits, I think it's gonna be the one that's weighing me down there on the right. Just keep rolling, just keep rolling, just keep rolling. Alrighty. So from here, you need to go up, around, cross around, there. Into that hole. Camera's not being my friend here, though. The 
And neither is being tall, for that matter. Come on. There we go. And you know what? Pop you off. Sacrifice I'm willing to make. And now I'm stuck under here. God fucking damn it. Every single fucking time. Come on. Ooh. Yeah, there's the other way around that we got in it. Like so, maybe? No, 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 no. Might be a bad idea to grab that candle down there for a tiny bit of height. Unfortunately, the spiky boy's not climbing on there. Come on. Come on. Might help out, I'm not sure. I think it did help out. Easy does it. Just get around the corner. Just get around the corner. Nice and slow. Nothing too risky. Come on, come on, come on. Got the candle. And again, I hear the candle hit the water for some reason. <laughs> Alright, this is further as I've got to now. What's the idea now? Candle might be fucking me over, hard to say. Come on, wiggle around it. Wiggle, goddammit. Come on, come on. Almost there, almost there. Are you fucking, are you fucking with me? Seriously? Holy fuck. I finally got around that goddamn bitch of a corner. So, now what? Ooh, piece of candy. I'm tempted to uh, place a checkpoint here, but I'm not sure if it'll really do me much good. I guess we can only have one portable checkpoint at a time anyway. How do I get up there? Let's try to get too, too reckless. I might not be tall enough to get up there as I am right now. Go across these flippy tiles here. Go across that red edge there. Would be the safer option. I also want that upgrade up there though. Oh, 
I might be able to shape myself to be a bit more tall. Would that be just enough to climb up there? I don't know. Maybe. So I'm not dumb as to see myself tumbling down. Grab the goddamn bottle. Pop you there and you there. So we get you nice and straight. The answer may surprise you. So I might put the bottom in a place I can't reach. Yeah, come on. I don't think that'll be quite enough to get me up there. Maybe with this candle on the tip? Maybe? Maybe? Let's find out. God damn it. <laughs> it's not a huge setback, but it's unfortunately a setback. Time to get on back up there again. I never do it once, so I can clearly do it again. The first time we got around here at that other L block. And I do that. So we can get on back up there then. Well, I know I can absolutely get up there. It's just a matter of getting up there and staying up there and not trying to be stupid. Because I was trying to go for that upgrade. Which is completely on me. Yeah, damn it. There we go. Harry Baron, so Junkus goes first today, huh? Yeah, he's able to claim it. <laughs> now you, Ryder. Around this corner here. And up there. Can I pull myself up? Candles hold me back, never mind. There we go. So now I'm stuck. There we go. Ooh, good. You wish to come for like two hours up in Cobra for their story? Yeesh, two hours. I'm sure they appreciate the help. Get up there, I know I can. 
I just had to stay up there. Bet. Can I tell how close I am to the roof? Not really. See the rest all the time. Well, as long as uh, you offer to help and you're not like getting roped into helping them, I suppose. And hey, if nothing else, they owe you. <laughs> Try to get up here, then around here. I can definitely get up there. I can definitely get up there. I can definitely get stuck here. <sighs> Candle came in clutch. No, I am kind of tempted to not bother going that way. Because it looks like if I'm careful enough, I can't get on top of there. I'm definitely tall enough to reach there. I'm kind of a senior without the title. Mm. This might be much easier than the other way I was trying. Also, it's also very dark. I can't see shit. I... I can't fucking see anything. Is this by design? I don't know, but I'm up here! <sighs> so how about that elevator? I kind of skipped a tiny bit of the uh, area I was supposed to go, but uh, you know what? It works. I'll show sure, you know what? I'm up here. I guess I'll just take the elevator down there, too. Hey, well, now that I'm up here, though. I suppose I don't need to put a flag here since I got the elevator. So what's in here? What is it here? I'll tell you what's not in there. Light. Yeah, come on. It's a flashlight upgrade when you need one. Can you stop getting caught on every single goddamn edge? There we go. I cannot see where I'm going! Ooh. Whoa. I'll take me down here anyway. Since I'm here, I go grab that upgrade. I think it's only a max block upgrade, but every little bit will help along the way. At this point, I'm not worried about falling since I got the elevator. Which may or may not have been the end of the patch. If it was, thank you, game developer. Yeah. I should have climbed up there along the ledge. Barely. Whee! Climb up here a little bit and then maybe sh shimmy my way over to the upgrade. Come on. As long as a piece of me touches it, I should claim it. So I could use this little rock here. 
Say that comment of yours about the dev watching streams and making patches. Oh yeah, no, Xavier X, the developer for Rock Knight Theater, he does pay attention like all the VODs. Not just mine, but anyone he plays as well. And I think that's a very good sign of a good game developer. Ah, oh, speaking of the devil. <laughs> hey, Xavier X, how are you today? Are you talking shit like I wouldn't know? <laughs> yeah, come on. I need it. Come on. Yeah. I wrote to hear you say, speak of the devil. Yeah, I was just mentioning how uh, you do like watch VODs and such, uh, know what to patch, basically. Which I say is a good sign of a very attentive game developer. Especially if you're solo, too, for sure. So, good news, Savex. I actually got a bit further up, and I was able to trigger the elevator shortcut. So, this thing's not like the bane of my existence. It was for the past hour and 40 minutes. But other than that, I'm making progress. I'm working on a fairly big content patch right now, been in the works for a while. I saw your patch notes mentioned there. That like uh, something got added in accidentally so you had to take it out before the big content. And I'm looking forward to whatever the hell that will be. Come on, can, can you just climb up there? You know what? This is easier than I'm making it. I can just reset that portal flag, get a bunch of shit. Take the elevator up here. Yeah, I'll come back to this. Also, I cannot see shit. For some reason, it's taking the roof of the cathedral lighting. It's still down here. So, how do I grab you? Also, what do I hear spooky whispering? So I gotta go around and grab you. Actually removed one of the color pools. Ah. Lobo has entered spoopy mode. Certainly fittingly spooky. Ow. That's a normal lighting. Right, well, that is fine. I guess ah, I got an elevator I can use now. Alrighty. So let's see, I'm going to want to get, uh, tall and thin to reach the top. Do that, I'm going to want some of these spiky boys. Might be able to shape myself up to get there. Yeah, I hiss and a who do you two. Alright, alright, leave me alone, damn. Some people. I do a tiny bit of shaping here. Some people, I tell you. I know, right? Can't enter a church without them bugging you. Never give up. Thank you, Toby. Now. <laughs> And speaking of the patch notes, I did see the uh, monoliths that were mentioned. Well, at least I saw it in the notes, but I haven't seen any yet. So I don't know if there's any that are below me, if there's any that are coming up, or even how many there are. I am not certain. I suppose when I see them, I'll know them. Okay. <laughs> there aren't any near you, only a few? Gotcha. So if there's any monoliths, they're gonna be probably towards the end, I bet.
Well, these are endgame areas. Want to see one, you can go to the very, very bottom. Oh, okay. I might have to do that in a moment. First, I get some unfinished business. Give me those shit! Give me that! You know what? What if I just bomb you? Just one of the starting area? Gotcha. So, I can check the beach in a moment then. Wait, what if I bomb jump? Oh, well, somebody grabbed that anyway. I'll take it. Whee. Ack! Uh oh, this isn't good. Um, help! Am I being kidnapped? It's got black bags and I can't see. Ugh. I think I got pushed inside of the tile there. Alright, let's see if we can wiggle around here. Then I can see what's on the rooftop. It's like the snatch from Bloodborne all over again. Well, this would be a fitting area for them. Be whack Get in the sack. Oh, is that wire switching in the goddamn way? Fuck off. Get out of the there we go. And take it. So what did that switch activate up here then? I guess there was a gate here that opened, maybe? Possibly. Yep, okay. That's a good thing to press that way, way back then. There are some steps on the top of that tree. You know what, since I got a elevator use anyway, let's uh, do a little wire walk in here. That tree might be progression regardless, but if I'm going that way anyway... Yeah, definitely progression. So let's see, from here... I got a big block I can blow up there. Let's go for the big brain shortcut skip. Hell yeah. It's up there. I kind of just skipped over. It's at the cathedral roof. There is an elevator down there that I need to activate. There's that one wire, which I still... Looks like the wire keeps going up. Yeah, that's going to go further up above me. Is there anything on top of the tree itself? I don't think so. Well, there might be a checkpoint over there in that little village area, whatever that might be. So I'm gonna make my way over there. Oh hey, it's one of those fishy things. A little weird little red fish that flies around and I can grab. Who may or may not also knock me off the area like that. I saw you in one of those challenge blocks. Yeah. God damn it. I actually might be too thick for this. Psych. Never too thick. Hey, one of the weird ass Navi fairy things. Can I help you? Ruins of Zaron. Alright, I am officially halfway though at 404. 504, rather. So Winston checked out my Vodami crashing constantly v VR and said he needs to get as well. <laughs> yeah, Winston's also a fan of the flying stuff for sure. Oh, there's a checkpoint. I wonder.
got more suspicious liquid in the area here. Blink. Gracefully done. Okay, so this wasn't that deep. Well, it is kind of deep, but... I was actually wondering if I had to swim around in here or some shit. Ah! Come here, Toby. Glad my death inspired someone. Hey, that's what death is for. To help others, or something like that. I don't know. I'm a skeleton. I'm biased. Grab this one over here. So going by the color of this liquid, it's hard to tell because the lighting is so dark. But I think this may be cherry Kool-Aid. Because it's got that dark red hue as opposed to strawberry Kool-Aid, which is a more brighter pinkish red. And I think cherry Kool-Aid is alright. Taste test it. Well, let's find out. I do not appear to have a mouth. I have no mouth and I must drink. Yeah. Come on. That was a wine punch. I thought so too. But then you gotta remember. Would you find gothic architecture in Hawaii? I wouldn't. I mean, there could be gothic architecture. There could be gothic architecture in Hawaii, for all I know. I haven't been there. What is Hawaii hiding? What is the hidden Hawaiian lore? Yeah. Right, so let's see what all I can do around here, anyway. So I've got a little, uh... Disco party down there, I guess. Elevator there, which I believe goes down, looks like. Yeah, it goes down there. I don't know, never been myself. Same. Got a pair of buttons? Is that what those are? Guessing they're hiding Cthulhu? Yeah, maybe. This could be Cthulhu's eyes. Let's find out. Uh, so far, no Cthulhu. Got some more here. Aren't these these, uh... These are the main checkpoints, aren't they? I think so. Did they fall down here? We got some big-ass grave over there. That least to a wire. There's a flashlight upgrade when you need one. Right, there's the big thing I can uh, explodify. That's why I already had decode on me. Uh, breaching, breaching, breaching. Hey, magic block. So I'm gonna reshape myself a tiny bit. Hold on. Da -da. Grab you. And you. So we got a magic block here. The fuck? What the hell was that? What the fuck am I? Am I upside down? I'm upside down. So the checkerboard tile 
does some gravity rush potion sends me to the roof, I guess, or ceiling? Yeah. We're going to Castlevania. God damn it, now I gotta do the entire thing upside down. Oh yeah, there's like a little field around me. Yeah. Don't know if that's a magnet or gravity or what, but uh... I'll take it. So it's only on the black and white tiles. So it reminds me of Gex. I can see it. I mean, Gex actually had these sort of tiles in the game too. Like in the hub world, as I recall. And of course, Gex is Gecko, he can climb on top of stuff. Now my question is, can I cross this plank while still keeping the gravity magic? I can't. So is it timed? Ow. Wait a minute. That was one of the uh, corrupted Agnuses that made that noise. Was that me making that noise? Uh. Hmm. Well, I can definitely confirm that those discs outside were other checkpoints. What they were doing there, I don't know. Yeah, really soon those games, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, I saw. Got skin a remaster and it's about damn time. I've said this in a buddy's Discord, but I hope they don't make any changes to the jokes whatsoever. I want the angel I I I want all those jokes, all those references. And completely intact. No changes one at at all. But that should age like milk. <laughs> I want Zoomers to be confused as they hear them. I want Millennials to get a few of them. Is it just me or is anyone else getting random people mystery on Twitch as we play on mobile or some shit? It's probably just spam bots. I get random mysteries on Twitch every now and then. I ignore them. I've never played a Gex game? That doesn't surprise me, considering that, uh... There's no real good way to play them up until the near future. Because for the most part, the Gex games are only on, uh, let me think, N64, PS1, maybe Dreamcast? And mobile ports like Game Boy. I don't even think they got PC ports, I'm not sure. I feel like they're going to try and get me down some virus? Probably, yeah. I just don't trust any goddamn Twitch DM, like ever. Like, I got one the other day that was some dude who was saying, like, some very positive uploading stuff. Hey, I'm a big fan of your stream. I'm impressed that you always have a positive outlook no matter what's going on. Zero minutes watched. Literally zero minutes watched. I check his profile. He has, like, one stream that's a minute 30 seconds long. It's some ad for a Twitch mobile game thing. So yeah, real fucking smooth. Anyway, elevator. So that takes all the way down there. Why down there though? Hmm. I'm not sure. There's that one poison orb, which I'm still not sure where you go yet. It would be around here, would it? Oh, hey! There's a shortcut gem over there. I don't think I can reach it from here, but maybe I can grab any magic over there. Oop. Man, this makes me want to play Gravity Rush again. I think eventually I will stream that. Obviously I won't be able to stream it easily, because PlayStation. But, I do want to stream both Gravity Rush 1 and 2. Give me that. Oh fuck. 
Ow. 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 Well, the idea was there. <laughs> well, since I'm going down anyway, let's check out that beach. Whee! Ow! Whee! Alright, so if I were a monolith, where would I be? Is any miles around here? Oh look, another Oculus. Well, don't expect any handouts from me. Ain't got no hands. If you're itching to climb, you'd best start with that elevator. It's the easiest way up from here. Was that Toby's voice? Toby, do you have a twin brother? Let's see. I guess there's that one lady constructor who kinda died, I guess. Very Dark Souls thing to do. Talk to them once and they die. Let's see. What a response to this. Fuck is that? That was not always there. The, there's snowmen over there. So that must be the seasonal thing you mentioned. Well, that's definitely not the monolith. However, I still want to go check it out. If you want a hint, let me know. It's in a place that new players would 100% find it. Mm. Now I'll look around a little bit for it. I just have to think like a new player. That right there looks slightly different. How's that? That definitely looks different. He's done a pro gamer. <laughs> Let's fucking go. I wasn't expecting a tall sandstone structure with the uh, weird carvings inside. I mean, it's not carvings, but like electronics. I don't know, I can't tell. There's a thingy on the back, but nothing I can do at the moment unless I can blow it up. Wait, did it get placed inside? You know, I might have got placed inside for some reason. I know, just spot in there. Hey, Ryder! Congrats on the 20 stream watch streak. Alright, unfortunately, explosions do nothing. And bumping into it does nothing as well. I was online. I I wasn't really trying to claim you were a lion, Ryder. I was just being a shithead, don't worry. <laughs> Well... I wonder... Does that represent an area I reached? Like right there at the bottom is the beach with the ocean. That top green part would be, uh... What is it? It's attached tropics? Above that would be the dust lands, which would be brownish. Yeah, yeah, it does represent how far I've come. Question is, why is more not being revealed, though? Why is this one revealed on the back? Why know this might be more exposed? Eh, there might be, yeah. Hmm. I guess I've just got to find more. But before I do that, what the hell's going on with those snowmen? Let's investigate.
I uh, might be able to just roll up there. I'm not sure. Now I got the boat there. Whee. Hello, fish. It's gonna roll up this way. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, I think I am gonna need the boat. Okay. the boat. Yeah, come on. Wait, what, what the, when did I get the other head? What the hell? When did you get there? Get out here. No hitchhikers allowed. Yeah, come on. Basically Toby only? Of course. Over here. So the pads might knock me around, I'm not sure. The answer is yes. Yeah. Come on. Hey, hammerhead shark. Come on. Get your damn Ockness on the edge. There we go. I'll take. So what's the Agnes theory? Is it the same as the theory of pain techness? Hey Graves. Uh, the Agnes theory is the theory of being a block who may or may not be alive. It's a weird looking snowman. How are you today, Graves? Hey, another boat. Is there another boat here? Ooh. This is a weird looking snowman. So what is this? Dr. Rahala Quack Duck Expert. Ah! Oh, really important enough to get your own title. Hey! <laughs> hey Dom, I saw you. I'm sorry, I'm just dumbfounded here what I found. I was expecting this. <laughs> How are you today? How'd your string go? Quack. 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 Here you go, man. I want you to have this. Thank you for the hydrate, Dom. Just out of my time away. Same graves. I'm just watching here. Look at the good doctor just quack me up. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting coming here. But sure as fuck was not there. <laughs> and well, my stream is pretty shitty. Uh, sorry to hear that. So be us being jank. Can I see your eggs? I can't see your eggs. I can see your eggs. I don't know, it's jank as fuck. Yeah. What well, she ended up being shit is something we can never count for. Give me your fucking eggs. My eggs. I guess I'll take the ice blocks too. So, uh. What is the point of this anyway? Just a random ass little thing to find. Oh, wait, there's something on top of there. Where are you? I don't know, but I'm gonna grab you. Eventually. I might be able to torque my way up there. Not certain. Yeah, unfortunately, shitty internet is. Awful to deal with when trying to stream, so I feel for you, Dom. Let's see. The ice is kind of weighing me down here, but my torque. 
position myself a little bit. And I'm sliding. Oh, God. Did you know that ice cubes have sliding physics? I didn't. Now I do. Yeah. Oh, hey, plank. What the hell? Let me get up here. Yeah. I'm going to get that upgrade, whatever it is. It's green, so I think green is stamina. I'm not sure. No man. Might if I uh use your head for a moment. So how would I get up there exactly? I see if I were to get tall enough I might be able to. Oh yeah, the ice cubes actually slide around. That's so cool. Literally cool. Right, let's see if I can make myself into an icy pillar. bit hard to control with the slipperiness. Yeah, come on. Come on. Yeah, I'm not exactly able to get the weight up there. If I can kinda do it, maybe. Yeah, the world's clumsiest frostbitten penis. Come on. Almost, almost. There we are. Now can I get onto this little ledge here with torque? Kinda? Not really. I may have to try coming in from above instead. No, 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 no. Yeah. Whee. It's a new Armstrong Cyclone Jet Armstrong Cannon. Clearly. Of course, of course. Yeah. Hmm. Well, if that's there, can I drop to it from above then? <laughs> yes, I will make it my mission grab every single piece of candy in this damn game. Wink. Mind if I lurk? Of course not, Dom. Why would I? Boink. Boink. Kind of got a bit of a odd shape here, but it'll work for now. Oop. Yeah, come on. Imagine Super saying, No, you're not allowed to work my street. Mods, can we get rid of this lurker? Take him out back. Make him a protective member of society. <laughs> but yeah, no, lurkers are always welcome no matter what. And I know for a fact that a majority of my viewers do tend to be lurkers anyway. Which I don't mind. Because as I understand, my voice is- Oh shit, another monolith. I, I didn't expect to see one so soon. Anyway. I do, st I do understand that quite a few people actually enjoy listening to my voice, so if having me talk in the background while you lurk is good, then why not? You shut the fuck up! Now that said, I can make no guarantee that my voice stays normal when I'm dealing with bullshit. Thanks to the game and all. So let's see. I could maybe torque from here to there. It's no guarantee I can land. Maybe from up there? I need to rename the cicadas in the code of Baron's number one fans. <laughs> I'd be honored if you did. Alright, oh, there's such a little uh, elevator there too. Oh, there'd be an elevator this model with. Plink. This one is still green. The 
back is still the same. Well, if I had a guess, I should theoretically find a monolith per every area, maybe. Like, it does seem to reveal how many zones there are. Now, I can actually see a purple one there, which I have to imagine is the Zanera or Zaran area. As to what purpose they serve, I cannot claim I know. But for now, I got something else. Ah, I want to grab that piece of candy. Actually, if I get tall enough and just roll up the uh, plank there, I might be able to grab it. Just a matter of getting tall enough, though. Let's see if I can do that. A low frame rate. Not sure where that went. There we go. Let's be a tall enough and not be able to climb up here. There we go. Actually, you know what? Uh, back to the Satash Tropics checkpoint. From here, I can get a couple of long boys on me. Grab you. And so, grab you. But I'm going to get pretty damn tall if I'm going to want to climb on top of that area to grab the upgrade. Getting tall will make it a bit more tricky to control, but I'm not worried about that too much. So much as just making it work. I could get taller. So let's see what else I can find. I don't think I'll find anything too extremely long around here. If I drop down that way, I might find some longer boys. It's been a minute since I was around here. I'll grab those little guys there. Oh yeah, the melons would help, too. If I grab a couple of melons and split them open, they'd be pretty long. Whee. In this case, let's eat on over there. Whoop. Parkour. Ow. Alrighty. I don't think I'm tall enough to get on top of it just yet. Although with the ice blocks, they actually might help out. As long as they don't weigh me down too, too much. Let's give me this goddamn grass. Whee! The fuck? Was that always up there? What the hell? Hold on. Was that upgrade always there? Some bitch. I guess the last time I was seriously on the beach was when I had the old camera, so I might have seen it. Oh fuck me! Let's grab that. Yeah, come on. There we go. Great job. Thank you, Toby. Right, so, I'm gonna wanna go around up there, across the plank, and maybe try climbing on top of that thing? Let's see. Oh shit, the palm leaves are catching me. There we go. Whee! 
Actually, oddly enough, if I can grab that one uh, hammerhead shark that's swimming around there, that might help me get tall enough. Whee. It's a hammerhead swimming around here, I think. Should seem if it gets close by. This is a regular fish. Weird director's cut version of Jaws where they use a shark as a vaulting pole. <laughs> We're gonna need a bigger shark as we try to climb up this tower. I think the hammerhead is actually by the boat island there. Shoot. Oh, I might be tall enough for this. Let's find out. So grab the ice blocks, the eggs, which won't really serve much purpose. I could maybe climb on top of this uh, big darkness here. Why this big one is here, I'm not sure, but uh. GG, too easy. Max stamina, hell yeah. Alrighty. Well, I, I honestly don't know what else there would be to do here. Can I explode the snowman? Yeah. Shed some extra weight here. Well, the snowman does nothing. <laughs> uh, correction. Explode the snowman, crash my game. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> the fuck? Well, uh, I wasn't expecting that to happen. Oh, hey, uh, Zabiac, since you're here, by the way. Uh, you know how rolling a nat 1 on a 20 makes it explode in this game? Fuck you. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Good thing that was after you got the stamina upgrade? Oh yeah. That definitely counted for this save. Probably. Maybe. Did that knock you off a ledge? It did. It did. <laughs> That's much around the nat 20 and I didn't realize it was actually rolling numbers. And uh... Today? Yeah, earlier today, about a, let's say, hour in a stream or so. I will admit, though, it was funny as fuck, so I'm not mad. Alright, anyway, though. Darkness 3, launch you again. Right, load game real quick. Sure enough, 50% climb progress. And back here, which is fine. Double check to make sure that the uh, green upgrade is mine. Whee! And yep, I got it. Nice. So, I'm going to go up here to the ruins of Zirin. And while I'm shown here the ominous cathedral of Hawaiian Punch or Cherry Kool-Aid, I will be going on BRB for about 10 minutes or so. I've been playing for about 2 hours, so I don't mind taking a break. Every collectible and upgrade saves when you pick them up, so don't you worry about loose progress like that? Oh, hell yeah. Nice. But yeah, I'll be on BRB for about 10 minutes or so. I suppose in that time I can probably do the cat litter box. Yeah, I think so. But yeah, well I'm gonna enjoy the music. I'll be back. Whoa!
Alrighty. Get back. Thank you, JBX. So, uh, hopefully without any more crashes happening. That's what we can do around here. You know, for curiosity's sake, I am actually wondering what's on top of the cathedral roof itself. Because there could be a shortcut. Could be an upgrade. So I kind of want to make my way back over there. Just see if I did miss anything. You never know until you go look for yourself. Blink. A couple more of these to roll around. Then I got the shortcut gem down that way. As well as some interior part of it as well. The other way that's to go up is over there, using the crappy magic tile stuff. So true, Ding Dong. Maybe I gotta stop that Ding Donging. Uh, yep. Yeah. So I'm just gonna roll backwards then, technically. Whee! Grab the candles while I'm at it. Da, 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 da. And so the spooky red fish things belong here, I guess. As to what they are doing here, I don't know. It's like a Pokemon situation with their former souls or some shit like that. Alright, so the Ding Dong does not appear to be over here. I guess it might be further above me. Oh! Okay, so that's why I put the uh, poison orb. Oh shit, now I know where to put it. Oh, that's why you backtrack a little bit. Right, so the poison orb is down there by the water. Take uh, one elevator up here. No, no, I take the steps up here. And then I take the elevator up here. That's right. Let's go grab the poison orb. Whee! Ugh. So true, bestie. Blink. Poison orb is down here by the pool. There you are. Whee! Grabbing you. Since I'm here anyway. Now that I know I can roll numbers with the dice. I've already seen what happens with the nat 1. But what happens on nat 20? I need to know. Link. Show me nat 20. 12. We did it! 12! Sixteen. Fifteen. It's just like playing D and D on Sunday, trying to get all the twenties. <laughs> Thirteen. We just got to step there. Fifteen. Sixteen. Are right, we counting up? That's good. Ten. Oh, you're just not even sure what you do anymore. Nine. Eighteen. Four. It's like playing D&D, there would be three ones in a row at a critical time. 100%, yeah. Eight. Show me now, 20. Two. Now, 20. 
10. Yeah, 20. That's one. Ah, so close. Eight. It's the rest of the stream to get a twenty. Damn, Skippy. Uh, uh not this time. <laughs> That's why I've been keeping my distance every time I throw you. Unless it broke because of that one. Everybody started to get some one. God damn it. Alright, I just had to come back here some other time. It's a bullshit. Fuck. I'm just rolling that one in DD. You can't roll anymore. Dinner tonight is ramen with a cut up chicken patty? Fuck yeah, Quasar. That's very yummy to have. I actually really like doing it with my own ramen yakisoba as well, just adding meat to it. One of my favorite things to do with the yakisoba in particular, and it works with ramen too, I guess, is to add a uh, fried egg into it as well. I guess you could if you were like cooking it in a stovetop. Actually, cook the egg with it and make like egg drop soup almost, but I've actually yet to do that myself. That should be really damn good. I should do scrimmage egg in my ramen? It's just as well, yeah. I mean, eggs and egg, let's be real. Doesn't matter how you cook it. Dice to roll that one, skip one in dice jail. Well, that one uh, is dead, so just as well. There is something beginning 20, though, we'll say that. Good to know. If I had a guess, it actually might be an upgrade. Because if I were a game developer, and I'm not, that's what I would do. Put a piece of candy for getting that 20. Don't you climb up the goddamn step? Get the fuck up to you, manlet. I say as I built the goddamn ball. Come on. Right, maybe I can torque up there. There we go. Shit, can I climb up here? A bit round, so I might launch myself off at the incorrect angle. But fuck we ball! Hell yeah. I'm on fire. Hi, bully. What do you want, buddy? Hi. Hi, sweetie. Hi, cutie pie. What you want? What you want? Just want to hide on the bed, probably, because it's nice and warm. Okay. Captain, he's game. He's beginning to gay. Alright, well, I'm going to have to navigate the darkness here. Show me the champion of light. I'll show you the Herald of Darkness. I need to get over there. Yeah. Maybe I can torque up there. The answer is surprisingly not. Whoa. I wish the egg with some seasoning and then pour it into the noodles when the noodles are done. Doesn't taste like egg after that? Ah! So it just kind of becomes part of the soup, I guess, yeah. She might have to get a little bit taller for this. Yeah. Come on. I'm gonna want the poison orb on the very last bit so I can bump it off if possible. Into the hole. Psych! Alright, now that I'm up here though, I need to be able to see. I think I have an idea. Because I emit light when I use an ability, right? I was hoping slow would emit more light. 
I make a halo shield recharge noise. What about the code? It does not really do too much light. Ow. Well, Torque will give me light. The problem is that Torque also makes me go fast. Come on. Okay. Let's try to be smarter about this. Let's be careful not fall down! Damn it. As the problem is, I wasn't bulky enough at all. Well, thankfully, I can grab all the spiky bits here and get bulky. Yes, yes, screen distortion. Take your orb, there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, come on. I just had to dump all the spike bits once I'm across the other side. Yeah, that should help me cross the bridge. Do, 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 do. In the elevator. Anyway. Come on, Deacon. This is good, buddy. Hi. Come on. Welcome back. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Let's try not to get it pinched on the way up. Easy, easy. Just keep on ascending and we're good. I'm so shocked that you didn't get caught there. It basically squashed you. <laughs> yeah, the game's basic tends to either work in my favor or against me. It's always a coin flip each time. Yeah! Shit, 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 shit! Like there. Come on. Oh jeez. Yeah. All according to plan. All according to plan. I can start dumping some spiky boys. There we go. Uh, GG too easy. So should be this orb or maybe a candle? Nope. 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 Thank you for coming by stream, it's been Darkness Theory, it's a very fun game, I had to try it again uh, next week. <laughs> God fucking damn it. Right there. Son of a bitch. <laughs> it's fine, I'll, I'll bring it back up. <laughs> God damn it. I know, big head, I missed it entirely. I was trying to put the ball in the hole. My ball. Yes, I know I missed. You don't have to rub it in my face. Wait, sh no, 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 no. That's perfectly executed. Yeah, you're telling me. <laughs> All right, put you there. Grab this. Then I should be bulky enough to get up there just fine. Am I being fat shamed? Come on. Get the goddamn thing. It's not a bitch. Yeah. I am a one man comedy act, I swear. There we go. Oh, no, no, no. Don't you fucking tell me I can't get in there. Alright, there we go. Hey. It's a 
this was Dark Souls, there would be a fatty head message there for sure. 100%, yeah. <laughs> to this day, one of my favorite messages I've left in Elden Ring was uh, there's a certain part where you drop down on like a uh, bit of rubble from above, and then the rubble itself will collapse and send you further down to survive the fall. But when you land on the fall, I left a message there, and it just says, Well done, plump sword. <laughs> That's still my favorite message to this day. You got a decent amount of likes, too. Or at least a decent amount of votes. I don't know if it's a decent amount of likes, but... Although my most liked message in Dark Souls, in general, has to be one I left in Dark Souls 3. Is that the Cathedral of the Deep, or whatever the hell it was? There's that one part of the Cathedral... Where was the... The big-ass double doors on the ground floor? Where the big giant guy is standing? go through one of the double doors and then behind that is another double door. Fuck, I distract myself talking about Dark Souls. So I left a message between them just saying door dot 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 and then door. And for some reason a lot of people really really like that. I don't know why. But that's the one message that got me through a couple of boss fights because it restores health. <laughs> Whenever someone reads it. I love the Mistress system in Dark Souls so much. I remember back in the day there was actually an app on the phone for, uh, leaving your own Dark Souls message, basically. You know, the people could find it and rate it or something like that. It's like uh, on Google Maps, rather. And it's a neat thing, but I never really tried it myself. I don't know if it's still around or not. And I'm just saying, if society communicated entirely within Dark Souls style messages, I think we'd be uh, a lot more improved. Try horse, butthole. Bonfire ahead. Message ahead. Message. Try message. Message and then message. If you're a FromSoft fan, there's a hand in this biome that might be up your alley. Well, that does make sense. It is the Gloomy Cathedral area. Yeah, the Dark Souls reference, it had to be here. Alright, let's try to get the fucking spear in the hole. Come on, come on. Come on. Just try to dunk it in there. You fucking... I'm trying to sit on top of it. What I do is sit on you, sit on you, sit on you. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna put this goddamn orb in here. There we go. Huh. Anyway. He's done. Final boss beaten. Well, I'll grab some of the funny blocks in the Kool-Aid or Hawaiian Punch. Jungle juice, it's jungle juice. It's a mixture of Kool-Aid and Hawaiian Punch. Maybe this time things will go better. I mean, things have been going pretty damn good so far, Toby, ever since I got here. What about you? So I think what I'm going to want to do is actually take the lore route first. Because I want to attempt getting that shortcut gem. Blink. And obviously going up is progression. So what I want to do is explore a little bit before I progress too, too much. Why is there a little baby block here? It's mine now. A 
Alright, so drop on down from above. Whee! Oh. Is there anything over there by that tree? Not that I can see from this angle. So how far up can I see like this anyway? Let's see. Got some wires. Got what looks like spikes or power lines, I guess? What, what are those? What the fuck are those? Hammers? No. Hmm. No, no. Screenshot helps you cheat a bit. Select on controller. Screenshot mode. Oh shit! Oh! I never thought to actually try this. Anyway, what's on this tree? Uh, nothing good. So we got more gravity shit above that way. Ooh, if I were to fall off though, that'd be one hell of a drop. Definitely, yeah. Well, thank you for the tip. You know, I know I probably shouldn't. It's probably not the intended way. But, if I get enough speed built up, I think I could grab that shortcut gem using Torque. Before I do that, what happens if I drop a block? Right, if I drop a block, it immediately gets affected by gravity. In that case, it's only me who's affected by the anti-gravity stuff. That explains the field, then. Well, anyway. Damn. Ow. 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 Oof. <laughs> That's twice I tried that method and twice I didn't succeed, so... You know what's grabbed on there? Maybe. If I were more bulky, I might be able to grab it. It's hard to say. Is there a fish in there? Why is, why, why is there a fish in the jungle juice? Come here. No, come here. Come here, little shit. What kind of fish is in the jungle juice? Who put you there? Literally just a regular-ass fish, I think. Okay. Piranha. Well, I guess piranhas like jungle juice, so... I can't judge him too much. Oh, you weren't gone that long. They love cherry Kool-Aid. Yeah. So I guess it is cherry Kool-Aid, alright. Got confirmation from the dev. <laughs> Get over there. Blink. Put that last one over there. And grab the ones out here. I may be able to grab that shortcut gem, but I may as well just see what the intended way under there is. I mean, I'm sure if I take the intended way, I'll eventually find the gem anyway. Boop. Drop down here. Trying to fall through the crack. Fall up here. Now, can I get up here? That was the problem. Hmm. I uh, might need to be taller for that. Let's see. 
The shortest distance between me and that ledge would be right about here. So if I were to try to torque speed over, it would have to be here. <laughs> ah. Ow. Well, it caught on for a brief moment, and then it just slipped back off. <laughs> Well, if I get myself more lengthy and tall, then I should be able to get over that ledge. Come here, Piranha. There aren't too, too many tall blocks around here that I could use. So I might have to just empathize with the smaller ones. Go and grab whatever I can for now. Oh yeah, I guess I could grab the candles. Those are pretty tall. Smaller ones over there. Magic block, which I can't really grab myself unless I are longer. So really cool. In here. They are. So, give me one quick moment. the candles, use those to get tall. I don't get to shape myself to be tall. Oh shit, it's another monolith down there. And sure enough, it does have more of its missing. Huh. Oh, well, anyway. Oh, I just realized my uh, fat ass might have been blocking it. It's over there. And so, let's, uh... Get tall. Come on, button. Because I can't shape myself on the tiles. Yeah. And I think uh, going for a mace like configuration might help out. So you can grab the other candle. It's a bit crooked, but that might help out for me. That'd be a bit goofy to roll around with, but should work. Whee! Oh god. Over here, dropping down. Oh. Now to the magical tiles. Wait. I should be able to climb on over like this, assuming I don't go off the edge. Yeah, I should be tall enough for sure. Just stay on the tile part. Oh, there we go. Do I do have to remain tall? I'm not sure. Looks like I can safely drop down here anyway, so. Whee! Oh, there goes the candles. Hey, fish. The fuck are you? Come here. You are a wolf fish. Box of wolf fish. Where are you? Are long. 
which might be handy. We're not gonna ditch you, so I can ball up again. I know, Toby, I'm sorry. Try to get some weight on my Ochness here. Hopefully that'll help me move around. Huh? Oh, it's uh, one of the teleporters. Okay. Sure, get off me, fish. Come here, Toby. And, uh, come here, Mr. Fish. Right, nothing here. So need to go around that side. I should be able to climb across these steps just fine. If you were assured. There we go. Da, 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 da. And shortcut chip. Hell yeah. So where do you go? We're going down for some reason? Where the hell are you going? Why? Guess I could go from down there onto the shortcut, then over there, but... Huh. I... I'm not sure what the use of that would be for me now. Well, thanks, I guess. This was that small area up there I can't get up to without that? Maybe. Hmm. I don't know. I have to revisit in a moment. The shortcut gems save across playthroughs, so some of them help you more in future playthroughs if you decide to delete your save file and start again. Ha! Huh. That's actually kind of neat. Anyway, whee. I have not been here yet. Hello. Yes, I know, I know. Distortion. Uh, anything around here to grab? There's a candle with a blue flame for some reason. So now, obviously, I have to grab it. This is different. Otherwise, I don't think there's anything else here. Nope. So I'm going across. Alright, that just leaves the uh, normal way up, I guess. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Is there anything on the other side of here first? The curiosity must be sated. There's a button for an elevator, but nothing that I can trigger yet. Nope. Alrighty. Up we go. Let's see if I can land there. There's that elevator. What's over there? Hmm. So why am I getting the cursed camera? God damn it! Ow! Blue candle is causing it. Just got to snuff it out then. Get out of here. So that's twice I heard that weird noise of a corrupted art Ochness. No, if you're just gonna keep causing this, and you get out of here. 
Oh, it's still happening. Did that blue candle give me a migraine? Oh shit, am I cursed? I think I'm cursed. Fish, come here. Let me use you. Grab. Damn it! Motherfucker, I was trying to grab the goddamn magic ball. Hmm. Up to you, fish. I'm gonna try going across here again, because of course I'm not gonna learn my lesson. Let's stay on this way. So that noise wasn't me. Something else made that noise. Hey! There's an upgrade up there. So there must be one of those corrupted Agnuses above me somewhere. Whee! Well, below me, maybe. I don't know, I can't tell. some planks here for some reason. Why are you here? Why are you here? Is that climb up this way? What? That didn't do a whole lot for me. Whee. Whee. Ah. Where's this take me? On top of that area? Looks like it, yeah. There's a button there, but no elevator. It's a thingy on the left. Upgrade on the right. There it is. You were the best for making the noise. You know what? I got a thing to do with you. Ow! Kind of dealt with it myself, too. Whee! Hope we can get back up there, no problem. I reach the magic block? I did. Hell yeah. Now I can use it for I'm not sure just yet. I may as well hang on to it. Damn it. Motherfucker. You know, I get that I'm a sentient, uh, cube thingamajig. I sure would be hanging if I had pockets. Can't still see when. <laughs> wait for you there. Rolling across. Should be able to make that just fine. Down here. Then back up here. I guess what is ammo crossing? I mean, it could be. Whee. There's that bastard over there, I think. Not sure. Am I launched him off with the bomb? I think I actually launched him with the bomb, hell yeah. Wait, is that thing in midair? It is. I got just a thing to do with you. So I can get up there in a good position. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Uh, panic! There we go. Give me that! I suppose it's in your nature to pick up every shiny thing you come across. As a matter of fact, it is. I might be a skeleton, but I have crow-like nature to me, okay? I see shiny I need. I need. 
to be fair, the fish exhibit of the galley is very Animal Crossing. It is, yeah, with the descriptions and all that. Whee! Actually, speaking of which... Fish. Jump to the gallery and head to the aquarium. Ah. Huh. Don't think I found the gallery yet. Yeah, it says travel to the gallery, so that means it's a physical location. There's a gallery in my guidebook? It's in the main menu, optional fun time. Oh shit! I just assumed that's another way to look at the guidebook stuff. Well, shame on me for not clicking on the buttons in the game. The hell is that green thing there? You know what, I'm uh, kind of cheese the game here, but... Let's see. So the upgrade was there. I could roll around here some more, looks like. Yeah, so... I might as well go back across. Well, there actually might be another way here. Ah, damn it, why not? What are all our options? Oh, checkpoint flag. Oh, okay. One more exists for two reasons. Cheese and photos. Mostly cheese. <laughs> I mean, it's a very good way just to get a, your bearings of, of your surroundings, after all. Plus, hey. It's better for a game to have a photo mode than not have a photo mode. Why not? Photo modes are cool as hell. I, uh... How do I get in there? There's stuff in there to grab, but now I would get in there, I'm not certain. Around here, it looks like. The fuck? The fuck? Ha! Huh. Apparently I found the back rooms. Those are very, very tiny blocks. Well, there's nothing else in here, it seems. Can't even pick up the table itself. And that table itself appears to be uh, on its own plane of existence there. Don't stop coming and don't stop coming and they 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 don't stop coming Honestly, I 100% believed it was supposed to be floating. Just because how weird finding that was anyway. Whee! The ground was visible for some reason. Ah. Uh, it's over here. That's right, I picked up a checkpoint flag here. Alright, well. Back to the checkpoint. A piranha, come here. We. Let's get climbing. So I think uh, progression would be the way going that way, where my camera's facing. Didn't seem like there was much else to grab there besides the. Uh, Secret little room, whatever the hell that was meant to be. 
and a checkpoint flag. Boop. So let's go and start rolling back up that way. Got a way to do with the corrupted darkness if I come across him. I if I can still grab you though. Yeah! Damn it. Not long enough. Baron, find her in bugs. It's more likely than you think, Quasar. Like, I have a jank tag on my streams for a reason, that's just because I find random bullshit all the time. I really should be more attentive to the highlight than when I find it. I mean shit, back on PS4 I would make a capture of every single glitch or bug I'd come across in Warframe. And there's just like so many instances of me falling through the map or getting stuck inside a door or some random bullshit. Always funny to say when it happens. Especially a little budget game. Well, hey, that's what streamers like me are for. We find the bugs for you. <laughs> and so, the corrupted boy is there. If I place you there. And so, if I tr lure you to an edge here, I can blow you up. Yeah. So. Place you there. Yeah, that's right, come and get it. Come and get it. You know you want it. I'm so tasty looking. Dumbass. Enjoy the view, asshole! That would be someone else's problem. You've been the most entertaining streamer I've watched play this, so props to you. Thank you, Zabiax. However, most entertaining streamer you've watched so far. I've been trying to get some of my friends to try out Agnes Theory. Because I feel like a couple of them would enjoy it. It's kind of a weird game to sell, of course, because you tell them it's Katamari Damacy meets getting over it. And not all of them actually know what Katamari Damacy is, anyway. So then I gotta explain what Katamari Damacy is. And of course, when they hear getting over it, they think, you know, it's gonna be a frustration game, but it absolutely isn't. Granted, I have had my frustrating moments in this. But, I have overcome them so far. It's a bit niche here. Well, there's nothing wrong with making a niche game. I mean, hell, Ace Combat, for example, is an extremely niche game. Arcade flight action. It's not even a flight sim. However, I still love it. Niche games are there for a reason, and it's because they can fill a niche that no other can. I can say this much, Arkham Theory is unique as hell. So we got this weird green shit here. Can I decode you, I wonder? Bomb is currently on me, I think. Ow! That didn't work. Okay, I gotta hit the wire. That's what I gotta do. So down here... Got some long boys that I might need. A book that I cannot pick up. Guess who needs to read? Blink. Plonk. Let's see. So that wire goes up that way. Okay. What's that one graveyard I teleported to? Teleported from, I guess. You're elected to lead, not to read. Too true. Yeah, come on. Wait, why is there a gravity tile on top of here? Am I supposed to go that way? Perhaps. Okay. 
I can certainly try climbing up there. I'll check that out on the return trip. So here is a dead end. Ah. Ow. Yeah. Oh god, I'm tripping. Tripping balls. Balls tripped. Wait, can I actually climb up the wire a little bit? Not a whole lot. Just got jump scared by a loud ad. Ah. Yeah. Twitch's ads tend to be extremely, extremely loud, even if you turn down the volume on my stream. Or even worse, if you turn it up for some reason. Unfortunately, I have no control over how loud their ads will be, or even what ads I even get for that matter. Should be able to climb up here. Yeah, come on. Come on. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. No, maybe, maybe, maybe. There we go. I actually might be able to climb up this way here. I might have to get a bit more thin-ish, maybe? Yeah, come on. We don't need to get thin. Maybe I should get thin. <laughs> but yeah, no, that definitely is an issue with Twitch with the ads being much louder than streams typically. One thing I really, really do not like is that uh, if you get ads and you turn down the volume of them and like, so you can go do something else real quick, the ads will reset the volume on its own, despite the volume slider still being down. It's extremely annoying and aggravating. And so, my current form might make this a little difficult. I don't think I can shove my way past those things. I think the idea is to maybe try climbing on over them? Yeah. That's the button I got hit if I want to disable the field. The hell is that thing? That was one of those weird patrol platform imagerics. Weird. Well, I might have to try shaping myself if I can, but uh... The question is how? I can't shape myself here. Could attempt to uh, say fuck away ball. See what happens. So as long as a part of me is on the tile, I should stay glued to it. Like that. Oh god. Uh, if you are motion sick and watching this, I apologize. Ow. Oof. Hmm. How do I go about that, then? I had to be tall to scale around them. But not so tall that I, uh... have no control, because of how thin that area is. Yeah, magic block, come here. It might be useful. No, 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 god fucking damn it. <laughs> Let's try to get back up there. Merely have the magic block there is not helping. Whee!
Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Alright. Gotta go up here. Then over here. Whee. And then across as usual. I'm dumbass. I hit the elevator. I forgot I could take it. <laughs> God damn it. I wonder if I should have a purple line string going straight vertical from the Ochness onto the checker tiles to make it more clear when you are safe. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Because knowing platformers, it's very common to have a drop shadow underneath your character, so you know exactly where you are above a platform. To know if you can make it jump or not, basically. So having like a tether to you to the tiles would be a good way to indicate it as well. Alright, so I got a decent amount of space down there, so let's go and shape up there. Question is, how do I shape this? Go get these french fries off me. Wow. So let me think. I want to be able to maneuver around them. Maybe if I'm not tall, but if I'm just spiky in general. As long as the uh, blocks are touching the tile, they'll make me stick. So I can maybe go around them that way, rather than going above. Because I think if I, uh, any of the blocks like leave the tile at all, that might make me fall to gravity, I'm not sure. So let's see if I can become a spiky spider looking thing. Long boys should help with that. Yeah, get off of there. A little too, too long there. But I do need to get long enough to climb up there anyway. Now I think about it, so. Keep you from now. I might be able to shape my... Sh no, shit, I guess I won't be able to shape myself up there. It's the gravity. Hmm. I don't know if this will be good enough, but I guess we're going to find out. Now nah, there's my answer. <laughs> well, since I got the elevator up there, it should be just easy enough to get back up. Come on! Get the fuck out of there, fucking crack! There we go. Get, get, jump. Hmm. That's awkward. Come on. Come on. Come on! There we go. Oh, son of a bitch. Just did it again, dumbass. Come on. We've got to stop meeting like this. Granted, it is my fault. But still. I call down the elevator. You know, it's stuff like a purple line or string, you can make it whatever color your Arcanist blocks are. Like since I'm currently red, it could be like a red sort of line or string. That way it'd be easier to identify that's from you. Nothing wrong with purple, of course. I mean, purple is my favorite color. Speaking of which, I do need to get a purple color at some point. 
I imagine I will eventually. So I think I can climb up there fine. It's just a matter of not bouncing myself off. Granted, the way that these french fries are angled, that won't be doing me many favors. But as long as I can get over here, then start climbing up. I think I'll be good. Yeah, come on. Like so. I'd like to keep that magic block on me in case it might come in handy. Nothing else, I could maybe place it above, well, technically below me, for Fallen. Also, the match block flew just saved me there, so. Yeah, okay, I'm on. Root, and there. You know, Magic Block, you're making a lot of good reasons for me to keep you so far. Oh jeez. Come on. Come on. Almost there. There we go. Alright. Now how the fuck do I do this? Just taking a gander around. I don't think there's too many other ways up. Besides where that button will be blocking basically. Oh jeez. It's fine, it's fine. Still on the tile, still on the tile. Damn it! Not anymore. Ah. Well, uh... That didn't really help out too much, but it was cool. You know what? Let me grab this fucker over here. Blink. Actually, I want to try to grab it on the... Bullshit part. Just, that yeah, it'll work. I gotta be tall enough just to climb up that little round area. I guess I could shed some of my taller blocks once I'm up there. And the gravity on me. Because it might be too bulky to even get around them. Dark Souls 2 adaptability is key. Oh, absolutely. It was gonna have 20, maybe 25 adaptability for sure. <laughs> Last year, a, a new streamer friend of mine, her name is Jophia, she actually did a playthrough of Dark Souls 2 first time. And as a admittedly actual big fan of Dark Souls 2 myself, it was actually rather insightful to watch a new player go through it. Because she experienced frustrations that I might have not realized would be there. As a veteran player myself. This guy made me appreciate streaming more. To watch a new player play something and understand their point of view as they go through something. It's insightful. Yeah. Would you get the fuck off of me? There we go. Since Cypher is a veteran player struggling with a area that they should be good on, but they aren't. So I'm thinking get a weird little spidery crab looking fucker form. I'm also a big DS2 fan, has issues, but I love it. Oh yeah, like Dark Souls 2 100% has issues. Both the base game and the uh, Skeleton First Sin. But because of those issues, it makes me appreciate the bits about it that are genuinely good.
Power Stance, for example, an extremely unique concept that actually did come back in Elden Ring. I feel like the Covenants in 2 were probably some of the uh, better ones, in my personal opinion. Although my favorite coming all the time will always be the Mad Phantoms in 3, just because I love being a purple bastard. <laughs> But the variety of the Covenants in 2 in particular was like nuts. You got the Rat King. You got the typical invaders, of course. You got the guys who don't want to be invaded, so they got the ring so the police can come help out. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Let's see. I mainly one of the hugest flaws of Dark Souls 2, and watching uh, Jofi play through it did help me see this, was just how flat everything looks, like texture-wise. There's so many areas that are just like a square room without any detail basically to them. It's boring as hell. Something that they did improve on with further games, but... The base game is stuck there. Alright, so, let's see if my idea is working. Because if not, I might have tried another way around this. Hmm. Admittedly, I do actually kind of prefer the world of Dark Souls 2 compared to 1 and 3. Like, 3 is just basically at its end, everything's gone to shit, everything's ash or worms or dark or whatever. One does have that very classic feel to it. So one that I can appreciate a lot. But two, I love Majula. Like, bar none is my favorite hub area. I love going through the Shaded Woods. The Skybox in particular is some of the best in the Shaded Woods. That weird green glow. Dragon Lake looks fucking awesome in the rain. And how you can see the Dragon Lake Tower, like literally anywhere in the world, basically. Damn it! Striped by Dark Souls, yet again. Damn, there's a bounce. But that... Oh shit, is that the long boys I dropped? I'm pissing around you here. <laughs> Okay, I'm back down the bottom we go. Welcome back, Red. Who's your favorite, though? I can see why. Like, 3 is definitely not a bad game in Dark Souls. To me, it just felt a little bit too safe in certain areas. Like, it felt like a, uh... I wouldn't say a rehash, but it felt too familiar to... I guess 1. And that's why I like 2 so much, it was so much different from 1. So I got one cat pick coming up, Red Sky. Give me a book. I just watched an interesting documentary on watch thefts in the UK. Interesting. This is one I actually took a little bit earlier today. I think it's a pretty cute one. Of course, it stars Bullies, who is always cute. Yeah, let's do that. That'd be good. Colonel's just steal Rolexes and expensive watches sell on muggins mostly. Mm. It's such a weird concept to me, honestly, just stealing a watch. I mean, obviously some watches would be super expensive, but still. Can give me a moment to upload this to the Discord first, which is where all my cat picks go before I put them on stream as well. Da -da -da. To do the Critter Channel with ye.
<laughs> Cal looks like he's winking. It's cute. Open, save, desktop, chat, there we go, yes, and show the cap, it's a tiny, tiny cap, there he is, that's Bully, he's showing the bed earlier, sunning, as a cat does. Alrighty, let's put you down there. Oh. Now where was I? Aside from falling to the bottom. Here you go, man. I want you to have this. Thank you for the hydrate rider. Plus, chicken head back. You know, since there's actually another boat there at the seasonal island, is it controlled differently than the normal boat? I have to find out for myself. Bye, fishing. Bye, fishing. Oh, shit, can I get up here? Oh, yeah, I can. Get on up here, because I'm curious about that boat. Because why would there be another boat there? We have one back over at the other area. Yeah, damn it! Let me try that again. There we go. I say, there we go. There we go. Again. Cross the plank and to the boat. So do you control differently? Maybe you're faster? I'm not sure. Go and get rid of some of these blocks that I probably won't need. You look the same. It's the same light. Yeah, you're the same type of boat. Nothing different. Ah. So why is our boat here then? I guess the quack lady uses it? Maybe? Err. -er. That's a lily pad stop a boat. I guess it's not really a boat, it's more of a raft, I guess, but still. Whee! Ow. Lily pads to steer or something? Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess they were constructed here. So they could be made of some weird ass material. Yeah, it's the exact same as the other boat here. Same size, same speed, same everything. I'm sorry, other boat. You know, I never did grab that shark, did I? Well, as a lover of sharks, I owe it to myself to grab that shark first. Then I'll go on back to the Zaran runes and try fucking around there. Zaran? Saran? Zaran? I see you, cutie hammerhead. I like hammerheads. They're goofy looking. And be my friend! Gotcha! You are a big boy. Yes, you are. Wee. You are a big, long boy. 
Do you not have eyeballs? Huh. Yeah, no eyeballs. What best you can't see. <laughs> yeah, back to water you go. Hmm. Well, guess back up the runes I go. Now, Piranha. Come here. Grab some blocks here. Uh, Toby, considering I'm the one who has a bunch of scratches on him and you're not, I think you're fine. That's so. Roll up, take the elevator, grab the long boys to climb up, dish the long boys, be pointy enough to get around, but not so pointy I knock myself off. So having a couple of parts jumping on me might help out. I got more thin blocks that would help out, but... Well, the thinnest stuff here would probably be some candles, I guess, or glow sticks. Rolling over here. There we go. So there's another elevator all the way by the cathedral itself. That's one I haven't activated yet. To activate that one, I'm going to need to uh, go further up, it seems. When I activate that, I'm not sure. Can I potentially go around here, I wonder? Might be possible. Not without some difficulty, though. Like, I could squeeze through that little gap there. I could get on top there. But then from there, I don't think I can get very far. Excuse me, I'm actually choosing the game. On that side, there's nothing really there either. I might be able to climb on top of the spire, maybe? I'm not sure. Now I'm curious anyway, so I have to satiate my curiosity. Let's have a little look-see. Okay, no. Not what I meant to do. Oh, well, I could've just done that from the get-go. Like so. Let's see. This little area here that I can't do much on. What is over there? Seems to be progression. That's where that one uh, weird back room area was. Yeah. Over there seems to be a way up. And also something over there that's purple. What is that? Is that a corrupted darkness? I can't tell. Raiding party! Could be a hello! Celeste, thank you for the raid! Welcome! 
me give you a share real quick. Come on, let's try and choose the game. <laughs> How was your stream? What were you up to? Let me see. That Fortnite. Delicious. What are you doing in Fortnite? Today we're going to make an apple pie. What the? Yeah, First, what I just thought to type that apple. word, and it just mm, perfectly do matched. You know what we can use to? Let's try a different tool. Is there a different tool we can trigger? What the hell is that clip from? We can't use that. We can use Wooly. We can't use that. I can break it with oh, my own too. hands. We can't use that. Weak. <laughs> Hello, 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 Celeste. How is Fortnite? Were you doing Lego? Were you doing regular Fortnite stuff? We can't use that. Anyway, welcome, Raiders. I am Baron. Scout likes to fly. Today, I'm playing Agnes Theory. It's a very unique game, kind of like uh, Katamari meets getting over it. I'm currently trying to figure out how to get around something. It's my first time playing. It was fun. No shit. Wow. It's been a hot minute since I played Fortnite myself, but that must have been fun. Do you have much experience with many other, uh, what should we call it? Battle Royale games? Yeah. Yeah. Damn it. There's no cheeses, but works. Well, I mean, some cheese is never bad. I'm a fan of mozzarella myself, after all. Unfortunately, though, I don't think I can get anywhere from here. The Lego one is pretty cute, and I tried Battle Royale, suck, but I love it. <laughs> hey, as long as you had fun, that's what matters. I apologize for any motion sickness you might feel here. How's your day? My day's going pretty alright. Like I said, I'm playing Arkansas Theory at the moment, which is a very unique game where you basically just roll crap up and try to climb this big, big tower. And currently I'm in the Dark Souls spooky looking area. As one has on their tower. I've made some pretty decent progress so far. Yeah, come on! Well, unfortunately I'm getting caught on everything because I'm so spiky. down there you, you were down there already dummy that's what's down there but yeah it's been a long time since I played Fortnite myself I am kind of tempted to return to it at some point but if I do it's definitely gotta be with friends <laughs> I need to get nice and tall to get up there. That would kind of work, but this might work better. A little bit. And if I grab that, you're just gonna chuck me off around. Pretty cool to see custom maps as well. Yeah, Fortnite does have custom maps, doesn't it? The whole custom game thing? Like, you can do a Rocket League or Guitar Hero in Fortnite. It's fucking nuts. This game looks difficult. My patience from never made it through. <laughs> it can be a kind of difficult game, but it's not extremely frustrating. Like, it does provide a lot of tools to restart yourself or hit up checkpoints if you were to fall. It's kind of one of those games where the more you keep at it, the better you get it and understand it. At least that's the idea. Me personally, I can't claim that I understand it fully. Motherfucker! Ack. We ow, ow, ow. And then that happens. Well, like I said though, it's not too frustrating because you do have checkpoints you can spawn and warp to. And you unlock shortcuts like, uh, 
planks of wood or elevators and use those to get further along as well. I joke about it a lot, but I kind of compare it to Dark Souls' as level design. Like Dark Souls 1 in particular. The spooky map. Yeah, there's actually quite a few uh, biomes I've visited. You got the Stardom Beach. The uh, green area. Dusty dust lands. A desert with a constant storm. You got the Japanese looking area. And now I'm currently on the spooky map. And uh, don't worry, this isn't blood, it's cherry Kool-Aid. The dev said it himself. Together, no task is impossible. I've already managed to climb. Uh, whopping 50%, I believe, now. Like, at current height 500, that is quite literally 50%. And now I'm experiencing some part of the game where... There's these black and white tiles here. And you think when you see black and white tiles, it's probably, I don't know, kitchen or something like that. Uh, no. It does weird gravity bullshit. Why? I don't know. It just does. Can I, uh, blow myself off this? I cannot. Wait a minute. So as long as I'm above it, I don't have to be touching it, but as long as I'm above it, it'll stay connected? That might be good to know. Ah. There's no point in coming here besides try to get out of here. Oh well, yeah, this is a very unique game. I've been chipping away at it for the past uh, few months now. It's not extremely hard, but it does have a decent enough difficulty curve. It could be pretty far from it, but as long as it's below you, it pulls you? Oh, okay. So as long as I don't like go off the edge there, basically. Can I uh, bomb jump up there? Yeah. Nice. What if I do that to get over those obstacles? There's an idea. Anyway, I didn't want to come up this way, so I'm gonna drop here and hopefully, hopefully land. There we go. Also, Celeste and anybody who came with you, I understand that you might have been streaming for a while, so if you need to take a break, go get a snack or something, by all means, you're good. Thank you for the break. Otherwise, you're more than welcome to hang out and watch me mull as I attempt to get past this area. It's all the speaking skin, my mouth dry. Blah. So I'm going to want these long boys to climb up there. Is my current form good to get around stuff, maybe? I'm not sure. One moment. The cat on the screen wants outside my room, so I need to abide. Otherwise, he will have a panic attack. Start scratching, start rowling. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hold on. Hey! Just for another student on it. Should I mute before I blow a nose? Come back and I'm evil! <laughs> hey Jungus, what's up? Got this nice ramen cup, a bit too spicy for me. Just wish the store I did get my ramen cups from wasn't shut. Mm. 
I should rather like r spicy ramen myself. I'm a fan of it. If I ever do like some sort of goal thing where my thing is to try out spicy food, I'm not sure how well that would go because I do generally enjoy spicy food. That should be tall enough to climb, but I can grab this last one. Thank. I suppose there's that one ship challenge thing where you have like this super spicy single ship. Which admittedly I've never tried myself. So it might be good, who knows. Da -da -da. So get up here. So ban the UK if I recall correctly. Uh, one spicy chip or whatever. That's a shame. I can probably see why. <laughs> I'm a little bit too curved here, so uh, let's get rid of that long boy. I'm too curvy for my own good. Up here. God damn it! Motherfucker. Ow. Wee. Ow. Oh, yeah. I struggle more just getting up there than I do get around the obstacle I've been trying to get around. <laughs> Some bullshit, man. Come here, fish. I said, come here, fish. Go and grab Toby here. This Toby, by the way. His name is actually Toby, but I call him Toby. We best pray for Ace. Get that the way sometimes. So the way she goes. So, let's go and get a spiky here. Yeah, come here. Come here. Spiky here. Da, da, da. Try to grab Toby there. Yeah. I gotta go now, but enjoy the rest of your stream. See you next time. Of course. Thank you for stopping by, Celeste. And thank you again for the raid. Just don't forget me here. I can't move on my own. I hope you have a good one. Yeah. Alright, try to get one on that side there, and I think I'll be good ish, maybe? God damn it. So go around here. Whee! Do I need you? Probably not. Go away. Do I need you? Probably not, but if I get you on this side. No, not that side. That side. I'm a very weird looking dude who's about to shit to Ludi of his ass, but I think that might work out to my favor. Let's go and grab the long boys here. A description. <laughs> I mean, you can see it, right? It kind of looks like he's a guy with hands and legs there on top of the head there. And then, uh,. On the back. Giving birth to the Tuluti, as one does. <laughs> eh, back to normal. See, only evil Baron say something like that. Normal Baron? Hell no. He probably makes some cum joke or something. Speaking of cum, why don't you come on over and get on the other side here? 
that should be good enough to climb. Then I ditch these two and try to wrangle my way around. Or, you know, slip through the crack as one does. You know, a couple of my skeleton buddies in the VTuber community actually have slime around their skeletons to give themselves a bit of a shape or form. And, uh, you know what? I'm starting to see the appeal of that. Because at least with that, you don't have to worry about slipping through, I don't know, a grate or something like that on the street. Because how thin you are. Whee! Alright, so, first, I must cough. Blah. Second, just the French fries. Third, question mark, question mark, question mark. Four, profit. So I could climb over that. As long as I'm above, it should count gravity for me. However, Where's the bomb at? It's right there. So I could use the bomb to bounce myself up a little bit. Because the bomb will always spawn above me, basically. So yeah, I'll be right there. Say I was sitting here. That does launch me backwards, though. So I'll plant it there. Get a little bit forward. Thank you all for coming by the stream. This has been Arcanist Theory. It's a very uh, fun game. I recommend you check it out for yourself. <laughs> God fucking damn it. That's, that's completely on me. <laughs> I'm glad this is going for you to watch, Saviax. If I'm not going to be good at a game... Must also make it very fun to watch. This bomb business, this crazy talk. <laughs> it's like I'm playing Assassin's Creed Revelations with the bombs again. That's what I need in this game, the Huck Blade. If I had the Huck Blade, I could go around fucking everything. Well, I don't know if you will, Tooby, but, uh, good try. Yeah, come on. Get the right train without your first few attempts. Yeah, like, it was definitely kind of working. It's just positioning and all that. Also, if nothing else, if I were to spawn the bomb, it's just another piece of blocking I have on me to use. Whee! Now, where I can't spawn it in the gravity part, because obviously that's gonna spawn it above me. Maybe if I spawn it beforehand, I don't know. Oh, anyway, off to the elevator. Boop. Grab you. So, if being spiky and getting around it may not work, then I could just try going completely over all of them. The problem with that is being balanced enough to do so. I could theoretically get very tall with these tall boys here. And maybe ditch all but one on me and use that to climb over th some of those obstacles. I just need to be uh, stable enough to actually do so. I think that's try to say may as well try going completely naked. Well, I haven't tried that yet. In fairness. I... I guess I could after this next attempt. That's not a bad idea, though. 
I would be small enough to get around them. Well, first, let's just stick to my original plan. Probably get stuck on the crack like so. Good mod coming one. <laughs> yeah, you just mod the game, but instead of the Agnes being this uh bunch of black chunks on it, it's just a bunch of flesh underneath. Although for Twitch's sake, there would be a one part of it that would just be like constantly mosaic blurred out. Yeah, come here. Come on. There we go. Alright, uh, pew. Whee! I ditch you. Worst possible game to add that to. <laughs> So if this doesn't work, I was going to try nude after this attempt. But if that attempt doesn't work, then uh, get him one tall thing on me and try to bounce myself over and around could work. But for now, I'll ditch you. Let's see if my idea of going around them will work. Because I think I can. I might be too nubby, but I think it could. In fact, get rid of some of these extra parts if I can. Uh, do I want to get rid of that one on Toby? I'm not sure. It's fine. Oh, it's kind of working. I just had to stay on this. Area here. Hmm. You know what? Let's see. Call me crazy, but I think if I were nude. There'd be just enough clearance for me to slide around the edges. So, uh... See you on the flip side, Toby. Right, so... I can kind of wiggle my way around. Might be a bit more on the right side, I can't tell. Bye, Toby. Takes off his space. <laughs> right, let's see if I can just stick to that side there. That's progress. That's definitely some progress. We're going streaking! Let's go! Game right here. And all I had to do was strip down to my bare essentials. My barren essentials, if you will. And then the last part here. Damn. I wish I really was that fucking easy. Click. Nope, I might have to reset from here. Hey, there's a little shortcut, Jim. I might have to reset from here, but, uh, what happens if I go off here? Whee! Ah. Alright, get drunk here. Whee! God damn it, got some distance. Apparently, it goes super fast on drunk driving. Who knew? Alright, now to get back up to that one part. Blink. 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 You know what, Piranha? Come here. You come with me this time. Gently 
Hey, Toby. Sorry about uh, tossing you off there like that. Now fucking do it again. New. So now I just need to take the elevator back up and go the way I need to go. Just don't take that into the real world. Oh yeah, of course. No, no, no. You you should be wearing clothes in the real world. And uh, you should also not drunk drive to go faster in the real world. But can the two cancel each other out, I wonder? Wait, what do you mean record height? Strange. Oh, it's a new record anyway. Hmm. Interesting. So you, then you, then you, then that one. Hello! What is this? Super Mario 64 Womp Fortress? Ack! Uh... Get good, scrub. First try. So let's see, we got a stairway up that way. Stairway down that way, which leads to that thing, which might be a corrupted Arcness? I can't really tell. And you know what? I got so many checkpoint flags, I may as well use one here. Boop. Let me get the blocks there anyways I can make use of. Can I climb on top of here? Kind of looks climbable. There's a ledge there. Yeah, I could. What's up there, though? Some more tiles are flipping. You sure lose it? No clue where that quote comes from, but it applies. It does, yeah. I mean, my idea is I typically want to place a checkpoint flag where there are blocks nearby to use, because if I'm just placing it somewhere I'm naked, then I kind of can't really do shit. Down there is... That one area. That's right. So I don't need to go down there. So let's see what that purple thing is. It might be a corrupted darkness. I'm not sure. If it is, I got my thing on me for that. Unless, you know, I fall down a crack before I get to him. I think it is and stop to the side. Oh no, it's just one of the weird jars. This is some here. Let's get high. Whoa. Bruh. Bruh. Well, there's nothing down here besides blocks, but they might come in use, so. I'll go ahead and nab them. From here, I can start rolling upward. Yeah. Come on. Come on. I could use this tall one to get up there, looks like. What's down that way? I don't know. I'll find out first. Oh, god damn it. There we go. Come on. There we go. This is above the elevator platform area. Up here is another weird uh, trunk jar. And... Uh, hmm. Well, it, well, it kind of looks like I could get across here. If I were long or large enough, I could get across there, I believe. 
Yeah, but as I am right now, probably not, unless I have the long boy on my tip. So, uh, come here, long boy. Yeah. I might be able to reach you over there and eat myself there. Yeah, come on. Come on. It's kind of working. Can I get over here? I can get more of the tip on there and bounce myself up. I might be able to reach over here. A tiny bit more. Come on, come on. Then there. Nice. And over there is a color. So I'm going to want to reach from that middle part over there, maybe? Can I reach there? I think so. Hard to tell. He's got the moves. Mm. I might be able to reach from the ledge here. Let me see. If not, I might have another method that I currently have equipped, even. Mm. It's hard to really eyeball how long I am. I think I'm just gonna barely make it. This be one hell of a risk. So, uh, with that in mind... A bit of explosive assistance might actually help me out. Hello? Hi? Why, why, why are you... Yeah, come on! There we go. Motherfucker. Ah well. Back to the flag. I had a thing going. At least now I know what to expect, so I can't get longer or bigger for that area. Legs close? Oh, yeah. Yeah, get up there is not a problem at all. Blink. So maybe I either want to be uh, bulky? I didn't mean to do that. Maybe I want to be bulky enough to get up the stairs and across, then have a long boy or two to jut out from. There's only one long boy I can't get regardless. So maybe it should be more rolled up. Think like a burrito and not maybe like a uh, macaroni and beef ball. This is the one. I can feel it. I'm sure one of us can feel it. Oh, g g g have been bad. And so, long boy, let's grab you. Uh, my current form is a little bit strange, but I think I can still make it work. Let's try to grab you on a lengthier part, like so. Another long boy on that end. Not too, too long, but still might be useful. And I can kind of balance it, so it might come in handy. At the shape, it should help me grip onto the ledge. Or, you know, it might uh, help me get underneath a step somehow. How the hell do I manage this shit? I am one special skeleton. Motherfucker! Damn it. <laughs> Ow. 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 
Well, at least I landed among my brethren. How's making that noise? Is there like a rattlesnake around here or some shit? What's making that noise? It's gotta be on top of the tree. Maybe not. Baba. Landed by the skeleton. Yeah, that's quite fortunate. Alright, I am gonna... It has been another two hours, so I think I will take another ten minute break here. Myself. And I think I got another hour, maybe two hours in me, playing. We shall see how I'm feeling. Oh yeah, I might go on BRB for a little bit. So, join the music while I'm gone. Once I'm back, then maybe I can conquer this next obstacle. What?
Boy. Once I've got ahead for dinner now, wife's waiting, but we'll catch the ball later for sure. Wish I could stay all stream though. Thanks again for playing. Of course, ABX, thanks for stopping by. Hopefully, we'll be returning and watch this part of the VOD. You have fun. And of course, have a good dinner. Boy. As I said, I think I got another hour, maybe hour and a half in me. As nice as it was to do a bunch of streams that are like 10 hours long, 11 hours long, even at the longest. I don't mind doing shorter ones like 6 hours or so. Shorter, quote unquote. Still a decent amount. <sighs> Big Head, I literally just sat down. Do I need to open up the damn door for you, you jerk? You inconsiderate cat. I love you so much. I right, bet to rolling. So the idea is to grab all this junk. Grab this shit down there too. Give me a moment as I try to reposition my wires here. <clears throat> Alrighty. Down here. Let's see. Grab you. Lucky enough that I don't fall through any cracks. Should grab a long boy on one end. Whoops. So I wonder why that affects my awkwardness anyway. I don't know. Should be long enough to grab onto a ledge like this. I just have to get back up there and not fall through any cracks. I'll launch myself like a dummy. Say as I'm stuck. <laughs> it's up there. I'll see. I think the only reason to do this is for the color that's up there. But admittedly, having more colors is nice. Good boy. Good. Hi, devil. <laughs> Thank you. How are you today? You get unstuck, you thick bastard. Come on. Yeah. There we go. Do And damn it, now I'm drunk again. Gonna wait that out because there's no way I'm making any uh crossings with that happening. Yeah, how are you doing, devil? Did you sleep well, assuming you were sleeping? So from this ledge there to that there... Should be able to bounce myself up. 
Maybe I should have both the long boys on one end. I'm alive. I woke up quite a while ago. Oh, hey, as long as you're alive, that's good. Is a modern? Ooh, which a modern? Yeah. Or we do like a Twitch modern, I guess. Tavern management about to put my ass to sleep. <laughs> If your tavern has an inn connected to it, I guess you could nap in it. Twitch mining? Gotcha. Let's see if we can jump across here. Nice. I gotta get from there to there. Gotta keep her day awake. <laughs> yeah, I saw you was live earlier. So hopefully you do good shit. God damn it. <sighs> He's doing house flip two is falling asleep. <laughs> was he finding that boring or was he just tired? Can we move through here? I'm too thick. Eh, whatever. You just be tired? I feel that. Honestly, I probably only got like another hour, hour and a half of streaming myself. So we'll see how far I can get. No room for the... Yeah. No rooms for the end part yet? I'm probably crashing hard for meds right now. Ah. Uh, yeah, depending on the meds, they'd probably do that to you. Boop. Haven't streamed at all lately? I have noticed, yeah. Hopefully, maybe if you like you're up to it, you'll be able to turn to it and stream something cool. I have no doubt. Yes, I think a new shape is in order. Well, then again, you were streaming with uh, Captain Crooked not too long ago on Sea of Thieves. Sorry to get my ass off Baldur's Gate 3. I mean, you could stream that. I didn't be able to join that for a while. I returned. I could be here for another 10 minutes. Dinner wasn't ready yet. Well, welcome back, Saviax. <laughs> You haven't missed too, too much in the time you've been gone. I'm basically just still doing the same shit. And making the same fuck-ups. Yeah, come on. That did kind of drain me for a bit. <laughs> yeah, Crooked tends to really get into his grinding Sea of Thieves. Which, for a good reason, it's Sea of Thieves, let's be real. Kind of need to. But I'm sure you also did some tall tales with them, so that was probably fun. Boop. It's an 11 hour stream? Damn. That's actually the longest I've done so far myself. Alright, I don't know if I'm thick enough to... Well, I might be. Yeah, I should be thick enough. I just need to grab this long boy here. Yeah. See these are loan hours, damn. Yeah, Quasar, uh... See these in particular has a hell of a grind to it, especially trying to get Pirate Legend, like Devil just said. Because you need a ton of gold and a ton of reputation in order to do so. Thing. Wait, what am I doing? I just shake myself when I'm up there. Big head. What's wrong, buddy? Why are you being sneaky? Okay. Mm -hmm. 
it's acting a little strange, I don't like it. It's not silly strange, it's weird strange. I actually did a 19 hour stream before, did you fall asleep during it? <laughs> Know about the power ledger grind at slope? Hell yeah, it is. It's even slow if you were trying to do in a, uh, what is it, safer seas, because they limit how much you can level up in that. Yeah. Come on. Nope, wide awake. You were wide awake for 19 hours streaming? God fucking damn, devil. Gamer. My Sea Thieves journey consists of fishing a whole lot and that's it. Most Apex Doom Jungus have a lot in common. Because his favorite thing to do in Sea Thieves is fish. To the point that's all he'll do on a stream. So let's see. First off, let's get drunk and get rid of that. So pop these off. Dumbass. I didn't mean to do that. Well, I might still be a match with this though. Let's see, got another long bit on that part. Let me get that longer bit to work. I think I'll be fine. So bulk up a bit. Wait in the booze? Yeah. <laughs> I can't even remember why I streamed for 19 hours, but I did do it. <laughs> you streamed for so long, you don't even know what you were streaming. At a certain point, Devil became the stream. The stream became Devil. All was one. So I think I could still do this. It happens sometimes. It does. I mean, that's actually why uh, I streamed Time Splitters 2 for so damn long. I just kind of just kept playing it and playing it and playing it. Sure enough, 10 hours passed. I'm just like, damn, that's pretty cool. I'm just getting tired, but I want to still keep playing it. So I just fucked around in Map Maker, which was very low energy at least. Yeah. I think I will eventually return to Time Splitters to stream it. I mean, only stream two after all. And even then, I stream on normal. Still got hard mode to play. And of course, I got future perfect as well. Let's see. Will I be able to reach over there? I would stream BG3. I don't think anybody would watch me play. I think people would watch you play. But I do feel like it's one of those games where you could stream it and it would be a lot of fun. But it's also a game where you'd rather take it at your own pace, you know? Not worry about someone watching you or entertaining. To me, it's one of those type of games. It's as fun as it was for me to stream. I just want to fuck around in it. Do my own thing. Not worry about too much how fun it is to watch! God damn it. Lots of people like to backseat BG3 from what I've seen. Oh yeah, for sure. In a game like that, that's full of choices and decisions and tactics. But, quite a few games in the Twitch categories do have backseaters. One that's very notorious that I've seen very lately is Ultra Kill. Well, Solar is a... Bleh, bleh, words. Well, Solar is a good friend of mine. They streamed a bit of Ultra Kill recently and... They got some uh, backseaters, which were quite annoying. Because, you know, new person playing the game, they have to play a certain way. If you don't, then you suck. Just like to let people learn games, damn it. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. That's why we play BG with friends and stay in character the whole time. Staying in character the whole time, I think, would be difficult as hell. 
But it is fun with friends. Weirdly enough though, I kind of prefer playing Baldur's Gate 3 solo. Because when you're playing with friends, yeah, obviously you're playing with friends, it's fun as hell. However, it also gets chaotic as hell, you gotta account for them too. It's a bit like Lethal Company, but Lethal Company was made to be played in co-op. Four-player co-op, anyway. If you have Lethal Company with 10 other people, then it does get super chaotic. That's not to suggest that Baldur's Gate probably wasn't meant to be played with friends. I'm sure it was. However, I do kind of experience the game's NPCs myself. Because as selfish as it sounds, I like to be the one to make decisions with them. The interactions with them. I have 8 people in one game on BG3. Yeah, there is a mod to increase the amount of players. I actually play with some of my friends for a little bit. Needless to say, it does get chaotic. <laughs> Da, da, da. All right. What's doing, Biggie? Staying in here? Can I close the door? Yeah. So that reminds me. It's been a hot, fat minute at this point, so Bully can go. Bye bye. Boop. Babe. Babe. All right, give me one second here. Now return I am evil! I don't actually love my cat. I dislike my cat. <laughs> I hate actually see what Evil Baron is, I love it. Yeah, it's inspired by uh, something that Husky Buns did on his stream a while back. Because I was playing a DVD with, let's see, Vapor, Wendy, and Husky. No, not just DVD, we were uh, doing Retro Watch, that's what we were doing. We were doing a bunch of shit. And uh, Husky has a thing on his stream where he can like, draw on it freely at any time. So he gave me evil eyebrows and a goatee. <laughs> And henceforth, Evil Baron was born. I loved it. Oh, what cry be? Oh, I see. Hey. Hey. You come, Kodo? You wanna say hi? Big kiss is hi. What you want, kid? It's the mic arm. Do not mess with it, please. It causes a lot of vibrations, especially if you're purring like a crazy bastard. If the game suddenly gets really, really cheap, I would play with you, but I'll be doing the tomfoolery. Yeah. That is a big, uh... What's the... Word I'm looking for? Obstacle right now with the Baldur's Gate 3? It's so new and so big that it's not really on sale for cheap. Well, hopefully in time. I do feel the game is definitely worth the price, though. Like, it's a damn good game, solo or with friends. And it's a damn good quality game. What's I doing? That's what I was going up here. Or attempted to, anyway. Rolling in some weird way? Well, of course. 
Now, as we're playing Baldur's Gate 3 together, I wouldn't mind doing that myself. The big thing, though, with Baldur's Gate 3, though, is if you start playing it, everyone else is going to start playing it because it's Baldur's Gate 3. It's so damn popular. And people just want to keep jumping in. It's kind of like the Lethal Company situation with the mod that gets a ton of people to join. Yeah, so within reason... Get drunk first. Wait it out. Is I have a cat on my lip? We can pet. Hi. That's sweet heart. Yeah, get some great furs, old man. It's okay. I am too. We can be old together. Old men running the world. A new age. Play with Burdane when it just came out, it was so fun. Yeah, for sure, it definitely is very fun with friends. Boy. I think maybe what put me off is that the friends I played with, a couple of them would prefer to run off to do their own thing instead of sticking together with the party, which, you know, standard fare for D&D, &D, as any D&D &D player can attest to. People running off being dummies. But still, if I were to play with people who would, you know, want to actually stick together and not go do stuff on their own like a doofus. <laughs> Red Sky. Then I think that'd be grand. <laughs> I have returned to the community event in Discord? Hell yeah. You're running a common writer, correct? Red, running. Writing. Writing. Watching. God. I should just stop stream now before I lose the ability to speak properly. Is it to play? I had the ability to do so to begin with. The ah, fuck? Oh, right, the jar. And back to normal. So true, Biggie. Think about BG3 is make me think about D&D, which makes me think about D&D &D Club, and then I get excited because of more Mac D&D. &D. Oh, are you playing, uh... What is it, Lancer? I've yet to play that, but I actually have interest in it myself. I mean, how could I not? I fucking love Mecha. Yeah, Lancer? Fuck yeah. Can you watch Kamen Rider Zero One? Which is my favorite writer. Say, hey, nice. Pop you off and maybe get you a bit straightened out. Cause yeah, I think I'm gonna need to be a little bit reaching here. Looks like. If I could get some kind of claw looking thing, that'd help out. Like... Here you go, man, I want you to have this. Yeah, but how's your red? Name for the posture check. Wow! Say like, couldn't get a D&D, &D, but BG3 I love. I do find them funny about Baldur's Gate 3, because that's actually gotten quite a few people into the D&D world and rule set and shit like that. It's not one-to-one, -one, of course, but it's just close enough that it helps people understand D&D more. For that, I am grateful. Alright, so how do I go about this? I miss been running a short Lancer game. Hmm. Oh shit, you know enough people we could probably get a game going. Just not a role player, I would sit quiet in the corner. Where's the fun in that? Don't you know acting? You're just playing pretend. Let's see. Not sure if this will work. Is it the same? Of course it is. Acting and role playing is just, you know, 
kind of cut from the same cloth! Which I am not cut from the same cloth as better players in this. One second. Sorry about that, I'm back. I don't know what Big Hit was doing, but he made a weird ass demonic noise behind me. Can't tell if he was puking or what. Seems to be okay. He's acting normal now. Play playful maybe, but normal. Okay, buddy? Don't go scare me like that. Jerk. And I get lost like nothing happened, huh? I don't know what the hell was happening. It looked like he was about to puke because his neck was all low and shit, but nothing happened. Thankfully, anyway, because I won't do sheets tonight. Ugh. Do a bit of catch up on chat here. Da -da -da. Let's see. What I find funny is that BG3 just throws you the DD mechanics with no explanation, so a lot of people new to DD hit the ground run of that shit. I think as a video game, it's much easier to grasp the rules than like on tabletop. At least on, in a video game, you can have a interface. You press a button and see what happens. Depends on the system of save the game rules can scare people off of D&D. It depends on the system itself, honestly. Like D&D 5, the most recent one that's kind of up to date, not counting whatever the new 1DD bullshit is. It's very simple, I feel. Both for better and worse. Now I gotta go see you. Have a good one, CBX. Have a good dinner in when we get there around to the VOD. Hopefully it's enjoyable. I need to find the time to put together a campaign to find a group of people who are interested and are free at the same time on the same days, of course. I mean, nothing else, you just try to get a couple of friends together and set a date. Set a date and time when everyone's free, because obviously you gotta ask Grant about that sort of thing. And I guess it all depends how long you want to run a session for. But hey, I'd be one to try out Lancer. So if you need an extra person for a Quasar, come in. 
Again, of course, depends on the date and time, but still. Necro has shown interest in Lancer? Hey, hell yeah. Necro is definitely an interest in anything tabletop. Tried playing a few times, even did a stream of it. I just fell asleep or something came to my head, so yeah, not for me. Well, fair enough. It's like any other hobby, it's not for everyone, of course. Some people prefer the combat of d, &D some people prefer the role-playing, some will try to do a mix. Some like doing everything tech space. Some just want to crunch numbers and be overpowered. Now that said though, as I understand, I think Lancer is a super simple system to learn and play. So hey, you could try out the Quasar, just saying. I mean, shit. Devil, myself, Necri, Quasar. That's three players in DM right there. Well, before I had to go and try to I understand what the hell Big it was up to. Right, I fell off. I consider Lancer both more difficult and easier than 5e. Hmm. So far what I've heard about it, I know you can customize your own mech. So I imagine that's where some difficulty comes from. Like actually picking out a lot of customization options. I think the rule set itself is supposed to be fairly simple. If I'm mistaken, feel free to correct me, of course, because I've not played it myself. Yet. It tends to be more focused on combat lancer. Makes sense. I mean, you don't you don't make a big ass fucking mecha to talk to people. I say that, yet turn a Gundam exists where, for the good majority of it, the main protagonist uses the Gundam to just do farm work and help out people. <laughs> yeah, come on. Rib you. Rib you. Let's get a little bit long here. I should really start playing on Dono slash Subathon. I have been concerned doing one myself soon. Keyword is considering. Because I figure it would be fitting to do one for my birth month. Which is next month, of course. At the same time, though, I only have 200 followers anyway, and I feel like anybody who is subbed is already subbed. So, honestly, I don't know. I don't think it's really worth trying. I'll just be worried that I come up as greedy as well. Especially if only have 200 followers, so, eh. I need to upgrade my CPU. For me, I would like to do one to hopefully help me with moving expenses, because eventually, I will be moving. And the sooner I move, the better, in my opinion. That's why I'm not sure if I will end up doing a subathon anyway, or donathon, whatever you want to call it. Because I may not really even need to. It all depends, I guess. I don't know, it's just one of those brainworm things that I try not to worry about too much, because why bother? Yeah, come on! Did you get the fuck over there, piece of fucking shit? There we go. I like how initiative works with the Lancer, who goes when it isn't set, but it's more like your team's turn than enemy's turn, back and forth basically. Oh. So like all friendlies will move at the same time and all enemies move at the same time. This doesn't sound so bad, yeah. 
It's a new website that helps track your stuff during Battle with Lancer. Ooh, nice. Balthon would be good for you, Baron. Could lead to more followers. I guess, but I don't know. Yeah. Like, I try not to take Twitch too, too seriously, as as ironic as that might sound with how much I do try to put into my Twitch streams. I always worry about, like, some effort being wasted or some shit like that. I don't know. Like, if it's not obvious, I don't know what I'm doing on Twitch half the fucking time. I just kind of exist. I think I've ever took it seriously. Ah, eh, true. You are very relaxed with your streaming. <laughs> I guess for me it's like one of those fear of things not even working out anyway. Cause yeah, a follow thon would be cool, but what if I only just get, you know, one follower total? A big event organized and that's all that happens. It could happen. Would it happen? I don't know. But it could. But this possibility kinda fucks with me, you know. I mean shit, I struggled so much to get to just two hundred followers. How did I manage to do that while... Th okay, whatever. Anyway. Uh, yes. What if it was purple? Let's fucking go. Oh, hey. Shortcut. Blink. Nice. Well, kind of shortcut. Is it really a shortcut? I guess if I didn't place down the flag, it could be. Well, I can quit the game here, I finally got the best color in the game, purple, so... Uh... Thank you all for coming by stream, this has been Ocnus Theory. <laughs> Third time I've done that now. <laughs> I would have liked to relax if you met me when I started. True, yeah. I mean, to be fair, I only met you and pretty much everyone else, like, last year. I mean, a year ago, like, I must say... Eight months or so ago? I guess, where's it is? I've only known you and a bunch of others relatively recently. Despite that, you are fucking good people. I'm glad to know you. Stream 8 hours a day every day when I started just because I was born in an outlet. That's not a bad idea, yeah. For me, I started streaming because uh, Good and Jungus wanted a stream. And they were doing their own stream thing on PS4 for a while. Then eventually just kind of evolved into wanting to stream with me every Thursday night. Which is what we still do to this day. Every Thursday night with Good and Jungus, I stream. But, uh... It's more an excuse just to play something. Like, no matter what we have going on in life, whatever, what's going on. We always have that one day that we can play something together. And I do think it has been good for our friendship. It has helped us stay together, stay in touch, and, you know, of course, play video games together. What more do you need? Where am I even going? What am I doing? I want to go back to the checkpoint flag. And then go up... That way. To go up that way, I need to get tall. So let's attempt that. Blink! It's one person at a time per turn, so like, I can go, then an enemy, then a teammate, then an enemy. Oh, okay. So it's like, uh, back and forth every other time. Okay.
Yeah, I can see that being pretty good. Because then it'd be a lot very uh, reactive. Blink. I started to stream on Twitch before because I really uh, was already doing YouTube. Some bad shit happened, so I started on Twitch. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of weird, because as I understand, Twitch is very much better to start streaming off anyway, just because of growth and algorithm. As shit as it can be on Twitch, it does legitimately help. Like shit, the only reason I got found by the skeleton community on Twitch was because of the tagging system. I tagged myself as a PNG tuber and a skeleton. Sure enough, one day, Mr. Winter showed up in blue said, Hey, what's up, man? Oh, you're pretty cool. So you recommended me to the bone pile. That's when Vapor Skull checked me out as well. The rest of today's history. Yeah. Come on. I'm trying to have a moment here and you're really ruining it. Me. Come on. Now this is my life. YouTube has been in the long run, Twitch is better for the short term. Mm, I don't know about that. I guess it depends on uh, which one has better revenue options. Like, honestly, if you can actually get some good views and go viral on YouTube, it would help a lot. But YouTube is also very, very much strict on... If you don't have, like, a certain upload pattern, or a certain stream pattern, if I'm aware of... Then it would kind of... Like, fuck this. It would kind of eat into... Your ability to grow, I guess. Whereas Twitch, as long as you set like a schedule for people, they will come eventually. And once you get enough followers who are regulars, you can just say, Hey, I'm streaming this day, and people will probably show. Sure enough. Here I am playing Ocnus Theory. I said I would be playing it today on Wednesday. And some people showed up for it. As they do. Shall we get climbing? Not yet, Toby. Let's see. Duty Baron? If only. I want to upgrade from being a PG and DTuber, obviously, because who wouldn't want to? Live 2D would be super expensive. Yeah. Having a 3D model would be badass, though. I've always loved the idea of just having a crusty looking PS1 model, basically. And that said, one, I don't have a. be able to live anymore. One, I don't have a webcam. So without a webcam, obviously I can't be tracked or anything like that. Two, as good as my PC can be at times, it's not the best. Like, I feel like streaming certain games with Mix It Up and OBS and whatever else I might need running at the same time is pushing it. And it does show sometimes. Like, uh, fuck. What was I streaming Monday? What was I streaming Monday? Let me, uh, let me check my schedule on Discord super duper quick to remember what the fuck I was streaming Monday. Portal? Portal Revolution, yeah. Portal Revolution. It went good for the most part. But there were certain points with the, uh, effects and lighting. And it was making shit chug on me. Like, on OBS in particular. You probably didn't notice it in the gameplay, but uh, my model itself was like being extremely choppy whenever I was speaking. It wasn't smooth or anything like that. Now, and that was with settings turned down as well. With a PNG. If I try that with a 3D model, or live 2D, I think it'd be a lot more difficult. So naturally, it's one of those things where I want to upgrade before I get that, or that happens, I'm gonna want to do this, you know, it's it's a whole list of things, basically. Did I fall through the fucking crack again? Suck my dick! Hate this area. I don't hate it. I hate myself for falling through there over and over and over. Hmm. 
Yeah, mouses track when you speak. True, yeah, but when I see if I have a 3D model, I'd like to just have it, you know, actually track my movement and stuff, because that'd be really cool. Mainly there is one thing that I think would be tricky for any, like, 3D model or live 2D tracking for me, and that'd be the eyes. Partially because I don't have eyes in my design, which is how I prefer it. But also partially because uh, my own eyes are a bit goofy, admittedly. So how they would track those, I'm not certain. I wonder if I could just like disable eye track entirely, maybe. That would be nice. Although having the flames my eye holes go out when I blink would be cool as hell. I mean, could you do the VT white method? Well, yeah, VT White's the same. He has, like, little flames inside his eyes, too. Which is... We are basically the same, honestly. We're not so different, you and I. But, I mean, it still tracks, like, where his eyes go. And when it blinks and stuff like that. I don't know. How to describe what I'm trying to say? Hmm... I don't know, that thought went away. Well, anyway. I made a skull where all that tracked is the jaw. Yeah, you were working on a uh, 3D model for a while, I believe, weren't you? Or Aegon helped you with it. And so, I need to get from here to up there. So drop you. I don't need to worry about the little ones too much. What I want is the big boy. I'm gonna want you to do this. Aegon did my bones. Ayo. I did all the modeling. I hate Blender with a passion. I have been trying to slowly learn Blender myself. Just like, to just try to learn it. Because of course it would be handy to know. And yeah, trying to learn it on our own is fucking awful. <laughs> Perhaps someday. But today is not that day. Today is the Octus Theory Day. This whole other beast of fucking play! As you can see. Oh, ow! Powder bomb me. Ow! There we go. I'm telling you making something without visible eyes, people, so I am in the same boat. Well, yeah, you are in a helmet. I mean, you don't need to have eye, any, like, eye tracker in there. Just, like, face tracking, which would be super handy. I had no idea how I did shit. I made a good skull on that, too, one day. Well, some things, things just happen in the heat of passion and creativity. Honestly, that's how my ADHD works. Sometimes I just feel like I need to do this now, and I'll get something done immediately. Sure enough, that's how I have Evil Baron. I learned how to do a form swap and do it all automated for me. And with a hiccup here or there, now it's nice and automated and looks cool. Yes and no at the same time. Kind of similar about the blinking idea as yours. Oh, okay, so like if I blink, you would like see something behind the mask or helmet. Visor, rather. That would be cool. And honestly, that's actually another reason why I would like to upgrade my model eventually. Just like how people toggle my helmet on or off or toggle the visor up and down. And take off the quote. Nah, take off the code as well. Because who wouldn't want that? One thing I would love to do, I'm not sure how I would do it, specifically. How the fuck did I do that, speaking of which? Damn it. Is, if you don't know, if you were to... If 
I don't know if there's a cat outside my door. Let me go let him in. Fucking needy little shit. Ah, uh, yeah. That's nice fucking move, not have fucking distractions, that's for sure. Not a distraction. Just come in here just to leave it immediately. Come here. Give me a soldier. Give me a little bit. Sit down. Let me sit down for like 10 seconds here. See what happens. So you can immediately want back out the door? He might. He's bully. You never decide. No, no. He might lay down. I think the cat's laying down. Oh, yeah. It was just a blur and hours went by. I should have streamed me doing it. <laughs> there is an interest in, like, you know, art streams and shit like that. So, like, Blender modeling streams could also be something that could work. Never know. Shit, a lot of people like to stream them making a uh, VTuber model for other people. Like, rigging and all that. Think we like Winch from Watch Dogs too? Oh, okay, so you got like uh, emoticons on your face, basically. That'd be cool. Anyway, as I was trying to see before I got so really interrupted. For those who don't know, if you, uh, what is it, donate bitch to me, depending on the amount, you actually cause an explosion on me. The amount to decides how big the explosion is, like, small amount of bits, like one bit, tiny explosion, bigger amount, big explosion. And one thing I would like to do, if possible, is like, the more explosions I go through, either through bits or maybe something else, the more tad- Ow! Yeah, like that. You didn't have to demonstrate, but thank you, writer. <laughs> thank you for 100 bits. What I would like to do is if you cause more explosion. Ow! Thank you for the 69 bits, devil. Nice. What I would really like to do is the more I get exploded or busted up or whatever by redeems, the more tattered and burnt my clothing will be. Namely, my jacket. Because basically the idea for Baron's jacket here is it has that ember kind of effect to it. If you uh, ever played Dark Souls 3 and you pop an ember and you have that like fiery glow around your character's body, it's like that. I like something like that, but the more explosions or damage I take, the more intense the burn will be. The more flames will flicker off and all the shit like that. I think that'd be rad as hell. And eventually OGP is so torn and tattered that you can see my bones through it too. I heard explosions that I had to, I had to explosion my mind when the gutter. <laughs> Unfortunately there's no cum explosion yet. There may be eventually, but not yet. I grab these over here. Yeah, to yo. Yeah, of course. I'm gonna take Vapor's title as the cum skeleton. <laughs> I could never. I will never take away cum gang from him. It's too unique and awesome. Man, hear that out of context, man. Sound really strange. Huh, ZVX? I say as he's gonna watch the VOD later. <laughs> da, da, da. Throw bits cause explosions, power up Baron. Mm, the power me up. 
How so? Well, I guess that could actually cause, like, the flames within my skull to grow more intense. Actually, Manhunter did a really cool, uh, art very recently. I don't know if he's posted it yet, but he basically drew my skull with the flames, like, actually pouring out from it. It's super badass looking. So maybe something like that. I, I go, as I go Super Saiyan, I start having more flames pouring on my skull. Eventually, I just become Ghost Rider, huh? Yeah, come on. This sounded really strange, but I didn't know Vapor. <laughs> Fill you up, Ayo. When and where? Du, du, du. Come on. Playing Ghost Rider. I think there actually is a Ghost Rider who uses uh, aircraft. I'm not sure. I mean, there's a Ghost Rider for goddamn everything, let's be real. So. Oop. Oop. Pop you off. Then get that in there. Alright. Let's try to roll ourselves up here. Alright, what I would like to do is try to get past this area here. I don't know if there would be another big checkpoint. If I can find a good place to place a portable checkpoint, that would be nice. Then I think that would be a good point to call stream, maybe? We'll see. But for now, i got to tackle this little obstacle here. So let's see... Liar. <laughs> when I was younger, Ghost Rider was my fave movie. Well, how could it not be? As it stars Nicolas Cage, the greatest actor of all time. As made famous by Dead by Daylight. <laughs> I am legitimately a big fan of Nicolas Cage. On the note, if you have not seen his one movie, The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent, and if you love Nicolas Cage, you should. It's a very good movie for a Nicolas Cage fan. There are leather jackets, motorbikes, and flaming skeletons. Yeah, I guess that helps too. There is one artist who used to be super active on, uh, what was it? Instagram or Tumblr or something like that. I don't know if they're still active anymore. But a lot of their art was just basically uh, Ghost Rider or find a bunch of characters, like Assassin's Creed characters in particular for some reason. I don't know how it started for them, but they basically turned like Hatham Kenway or Ezio and other people into an assassin, but with a Ghost Rider skull with all the flames and shit. It looks so badass. Think you saw some of those art? Yeah! It's not that hard to find, just look up, like, Ghost Rider Assassin's Creed, I guess. Man, it's legitimately some really badass fucking art. Yeah, I got up here. Hell yeah. Boop. Boop. So Ghost Flyer is a World War pilot possessed by the Spirit of Vengeance. Hey! Like I said, there's definitely gotta be a Flyer one. Also, that sounds a tiny bit similar to my backstory, just saying. Fuck you, Marvel. <laughs> Let's see. Let's try to keep what I can. So, I gotta go across the tiles here. The safe zone over there. Ooh! For these to spin, they'll take a while. Can go over here to get a quick peek, see about what's going on. 
So I need to climb up those tiles. Go down that way. Gonna be like nervously glancing around. <laughs> Oh, jeez. I'm good. Right up here. Motherfucker. I thought that's a normal tile. I didn't realize it was going to spin. I can definitely do that. I got that far. That's not terrible. I can do it. Even the headband rider. I legitimately thought it was a normal tile. I couldn't tell. I guess it's turning so slowly. Or fading so slowly, rather. Okay, I want a nap. Let me need a nap, devil. Go ahead. I, mean, I know a couple of people do like to slurk in my stream, so need to have a little slurk, go ahead. I'll be calling it soon regardless anyway. Hopefully the person who I want to raid is still going. If not, then I will find someone else to raid, of course. Whoop. Blink. Gently now, wouldn't want to scratch my delicate fall. Let's see, so I will want the long body to climb up there for sure. Go on down, clump up, come on back up, get stuck between the cracks, as one does. Get come on. I don't think I would sleep. Eh. Eh, nap is fine. I mean, guess I'm shot, it's still shut. It doesn't mean if it's a nap or. Or, it doesn't matter if it's a nap or sleep, really. Da -da. Blink. Blink. I do find it funny how our circle of VTuber friends is just a bunch of narcoleptics. People with shitty-ass sleep schedules. <laughs> the more you want to hang out with each other, the more you're going to make your sleep schedule even worse. Because you don't want to go to sleep when you're hanging out with your buddies. Up here. Come on. Nocturnal people? Absolutely, yeah. That's so. Climb on over. Should I get tall? I should probably get tall. Let's get tall. Don't need that one. I want the long boy here. Try to get you on the tip. I think that'll work. We were bad for each other's sleep schedules, though I haven't talked to anyone in a few days, BC wise. I'll never have a bad time in change to that if you want. As long as you got that social energy. hard to keep up with y'all and my sleep skills just as fucked about working off. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely one thing that's kind of shitty as a viewer or regular of a streamer. I'm trying to be there for them when they are streaming. Whee. All right, back up here. I can do this. It's just a matter of doing it right. Not any social energy. I feel that. And sometimes my social battery just be absolutely drained in. As much as I want to hang out with people or talk or play stuff, I I just can't will it. I wish I was normal with that sort of thing. Not to worry about, like, feeling social enough to hang out. Whee! But it is what it is. 
I see chat scrolling by. Give me a moment as I focus here, please. Right, not yet. There we go. That was the problem. It was so light, I figured it was like in the moon. Wait. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Oh! Alex like one of those bastards. Back off. What's our bench here? Ow! Get off me! Go away. This is the top of that one tree. So this will lead to the roof of the actual cathedral. Oh, alright. And once I get there, I can have that one elevator. Well, that'll be a good stopping point, I think, then. Da, da, da. Right. Try to look down so I can see where the hell I'm going. I'll just this fucks with the frame rate for you. So that's a crappy thing, my jig. So there's no uh elevator here. It's further up. Oh, up I go. Whee! Hello. Yeah, I guess I'm moving gravity platforms. Da, da, da. I grab that little ticket over here. Can I get over to the platform? I cannot. And while I'm waiting here, I can catch up on chat. It can be hard to keep up with you on my sleep schedule. Yep, I read that earlier. Been sitting low in BC for a bit, actually. Usually by now, there's a couple of people. Yeah, you can never tell when people will join in a BC. Honestly, I, I can never tell when people are going to join in BC myself. Like, I never really just see someone sitting in BC until there's like a group. It's like one of the things where you see them and you're just like, oh, when did that start? Now I'll pop on in. I'm really kind of passive when it comes to joining VCs. Like, if I see there's a couple people from somewhere in there, then I may join to hang out. But I typically won't join on my own until I know someone will want to join. Which may or not be bomb behavior, but uh. Oh well. <laughs> I don't like joining when it's a big group. Yeah. It does come to the territory that, uh, with as many people as we all know, there will be a lot of people who want to hang out at the same time. And I certainly don't mind trying to. That said, it does get difficult for me personally when there's a big, big group. Because, uh, newsflash, I'm kind of an introvert. I'm sure you wouldn't expect that from me, but I am. Oh, hello. Whee! I didn't know I could drop onto another platform like that. Good to know. Oh, so now I wait for the top part. Okay. Boy. It's, uh gonna be a minute. Yep. Gonna be a couple more seconds here. I'll go lay down for a bit. You're good, devil.
And now I chill here for a bit. Just, uh... You know, wait. There's something over there, actually. I kind of want to roll on over there. Hmm. What's over here? Any checkpoints? Any elevators? There is an elevator. Alright, I'm gonna hit that up first. It's a hydrate TV antenna. Change the VC stats to something to get people joined sometimes works. <laughs> yeah, you could change a big chungus. And... Elevator. Hell yeah. The hell? Oh no. It's a mask from Lethal Company. They're gonna infect me! They're gonna start vomiting blood in my face I shall become one with them. Together. Blink. And so... I got this elevator here, that elevator there, which means I can use my, uh, let's see, I can spawn over there at that checkpoint, roll over to here and across, and then come back up. Yeah, that'd be the idea, I think, for the future. What's that red thing on this roof? Did I miss that? What is that? I'll find out real quick. Is that red thing? What are you? The fuck is that? The fuck is this? No, it's one of those weird nabby things. What is your purpose? What are you? I can't roll you up. Can I explode you? I cannot. I do not understand. Well, with that shortcut hit, though, I do think it would be a good stopping point for me anyway. So, let's eat to the abyss. Whee! Ow! Whee! Oof. Whee! That thing still fought me? Fuck off, dude. Creep. Oh. You are obsessed. Go away. Shoot. Just fade into nothingness already. There we go. A light? Yeah, I don't know. It's like some weird fairy thing I've been running into. There's a couple of them, actually. That one was red. A couple others were yellow. Ah, back to the beach. So I guess the whole point that Snowman Island was just the stamina upgrade. And the constructor there quacking for whatever reason. Fucking weird, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a good stopping point for me. I feel like I've run out of gas for streaming. So that's been a good six hours anyway. Now, what am I get some food as well? Oh! Arcus Theory. I've been making some damn good progress today. I finally got past that one obstacle that's stopping me, and uh, I just keep on sending. I'm also find some uh, secrets along the way too, which I gotta keep in mind. Oh shit, you know what? Before I do stop, Go to the gallery. 
Because I can actually apparently run around here and do shit. So this is like a explorable museum, apparently. And there's actually a ball-ass aquarium with all the fish I've been fishing up. It's actually like its own mini-level, too. That's really cool. Blink. There's also a... Uh... Hey, Shiba! Well, that's what's coming here. Hey, what's up? Welcome to the gallery. Feel free to look around at your own pace. I will. Guided towards cost 10,000 cells an hour. What's a cell? No longer offer that service. Oh, okay. If you have any questions, you will have to figure out the answers yourself. Now I'm oh, fair enough. quite busy, so if you wouldn't mind, I would appreciate some privacy. Get some privacy for you right here, pal. Have a bomb. It's a museum, a cream showroom, gift shop. Planetarium, biome display. Fun zone. Color pit, climbing sticks, ball court. Oh yeah, it actually keeps track of all my shit. Hello, what's happening? How's the vibe? Hey, Undertale. The vibe is, I'm getting close to ending stream here, admittedly. But before I do end, I'm checking out this new area to me, which is the gallery. It appears to be an interactive museum of sorts of all the progress I've made in the game so far. Which I never realized I could do until now. That's really cool. Why is that vibrating? Let me out. We can go a little bit longer. I want to check out this place a little bit. What the fuck? Is this a readable sign? Ball pit. I don't care if we're not to jump in here. I couldn't break my spine. What the fuck? <laughs> What the hell? Wee. Playing with my balls in the pit. What more could you ask for? This is a funky little area. <laughs> so is this all the colors I've gotten so far? Because those are uh, paint colors, I think. <laughs> oh wow, I got a splat. Wait, can I bomb it? Bombing it did nothing, so I gotta ram it, okay. <laughs> splat. I don't know what the point of this is, but it's silly, I like it. <laughs> Splat! I should cover the pit and piss. Splat! Splat! Who needs Splatoon? We got Octane Slayer. Seriously. Splat! It's such a silly little feature. I love it. <laughs> The hydrate under two. Need for the posture check. Is that a basketball court? I think so. Let's check it out. These are indeed balls. There are baskets. Hopefully, I don't get, to get caught for traveling here. You actually toss up pretty damn high. No, oh, you even bounce this around too. Oh, you know this could be a achievement for getting a basket. Yep. Yeah. 
Damn it. Too far to the right. Whee! Or we can slam dunk it. Ooh, huh. Not quite. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, it looked like it would have been good. This NBA Jam remake is fucking weird. Yeah. You know, oddly enough, I think uh, this here means that Agnes Theory is technically an immersive sim. You can interact with the environment in a natural way. In this case, playing basketball. Boop. Uh, nope. I wonder if I could shoot it from underneath. Kind of. Yeah. So stupid, I love it. Oddly enough, it actually reminds me a bit of the uh, museum level from Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Where when you beat the campaign, you get a museum that you can go to as a final, final level. And it's just like something to fuck around in, check out character models, mess around with. Check out all the weapons and shit. Ow! Alright, I'm gonna have to come back here some other time. <laughs> it's really cool. Yeah, this Agnes Theater. It's actually an upgrade there, too, for some reason. Huh. Well, now I gotta try to get that somehow. But yeah, this Agnes Theater. It's a very cool game. I'm glad I came back to it this week. And, uh... I don't know how long it'll take me to actually beat this game. Not gonna lie. I'm trying my best to only ever play it on stream, because it's one of those games where I feel having my reactions and shit like that streamed, you know, recorded, is very cool. And I should mention, if this game looks even the slightest bit interesting to you at all, please check it out. It's on Steam. It's like 12 bucks or something American. It's not that expensive, and it has quite a lot of love and care put into it. And shit, the developer is still adding stuff to it to this day. I know. But yeah, that's better for me today. So, I shall swap on over to the end stream once I got music playing, which should be in a moment. There we go. Ooh, Metroid, hell yeah. So, if everybody stopped by today, thank you very much for doing so. It does mean the world to me. And thank you, Celeste Nightgale, for the raid as well. If you haven't, check out Celeste Nightgale. She's a pretty cool VTuber. And of course, on the stuff we were raiding, let's see if the person I want to raid is still going. Hopefully they are. Yeah, you are. Alrighty. Du, 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 du. So, we will be raiding a fellow Skeletooper, Sawful Roses. She's a very lovely, very sweet Skeletooper herself, and she is actually celebrating her birthday today. She has a whole week of streams planned out. Currently, she's playing a lethal company with some friends. It looks like she's dead at the moment. <laughs> Now, for the raid message, we have a thing in the skeleton community where, when someone's birthday, you hit them with the old birth, 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 birth chant. So, copy that, use that for your raid message. In the meantime, if you have a Discord, if you wish to hang out with me outside of streams, it's also the best way to learn when I'm streaming, or to check out all my cat books. Alright, tomorrow. I'll be streaming some Lethal Company myself, the Goon and Jungus. That's what it sounds like. I know, I hear you, Beast. Give me a moment. I'm doing an outro. 
inconsiderate asshole. Anyway. Tomorrow, 10.30ish, Central. Stream the Goonie Jungus, leave the company. After that, who knows? I certainly don't. Well, until next time, it's been Baron. Thank you for flying with me. And thank you, Undertale. I try. <laughs>